Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today we're playing, as Darcy laid this out in the couch so I don't forget it, Atari 7800 today. Two games, one a brand new game, I ran from VHZC. Iran. Or Iran. Or Iraq. <laughs> It's Iran from VHZC. Um, and the final, final, exclusive final build of Pentago. Oh. From Daryl 1970. Very exciting. I don't think you've played it. Have you played it? Pushing around ice blocks, your penguin, squishing things, squishing snow bees. I don't I mean, think so. like, I think we. I Might swear we have that board ago. game at the store. <laughs> really? Interesting. It was originally called. Pingo in the arcades. Okay, so it's no, nothing it's to do not with Penta, no five-sided things or anything like that. No. Better secure that logo or Sprite will see it, steal it. Yes. I think the board game is just um, I think the board game is just based on that theme then or something. Oh, yeah. uh, could be. I mean, it's a good theme. You move Lots penguins and catch oh. fish and you oh, erase cool. the trail that you were on. Mm. So you move from here to here and then you scoop up the pieces that you touched. Uh, yeah. That's kind of cool. Good times. Uh, uh, hey, that's my fish. Okay. No, <laughs> hey, that's a different one. Hey, yeah, no, that's hey, my... that's my fish. There's another one with fish. But the, the fish ones are fun. There's another <laughs> uh, uh, video game where you play penguin and you're it's like a almost a racing game and there's fish that jump out of holes and you have to try and get those fish. And that's that's a fun game too. Good times, good times. Fair good times. We have Darcy here. Yay! It's Friday. Um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show, who are scrolling down beside Darcy. They are Alan the Firearms, Gar Code, Atari 1974, Atari H, Atari Maximus, BR Poker, Pachals, Donnie Mal, Charles Willen, Chitla, the Colonel Lamb, Dianoid, Danny VC, Drex, Lurk, Smooth Cows, Gamma Dev, Galen, Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Rider, Ivory Tower Collection, Johnny WC, Kabuto Ganzo, Kabuto Kenzo, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Vetter Croco, 2600, Gavaltifer, Lambda Express, Lord DZ, Mark Yannis, Mark Space, Signal Mail, Atari, Mike Muse, Mike Solomon, Mike Tell, and it's Treat Time. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Darcy will take care of that. Oh, that's loud. Uh, where was I? Mike Ladell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mother, oh, three. Is, oh, though. shut the door. Shut. Oh, is where's the other cat? Here, quick, quick, is he get, locked in the bedroom? Get, get. Can you go check? He's, He's locked in the bedroom. Quick, dang it. Very okay, unfair. The, 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 the um, referees are cheating immensely today. So I don't know what to say about That's that. That's one for Atari is what that is. Um, oh, but he got, he got a oh, snack anyway. The, uh, it in a bit. No, can't see it. The white bell. Move it in so we can see. No, it's worse. It's way off screen. There you go. You have to keep score. Oh my god, what's happening? It's two to one, right? Mm -hmm. And shut the door so he doesn't take the treats out. He will take treats out. There we go. And thank you, Gamma Dev, for uh, initiating treat time. Oh my god, Atari is... What's the score? It's three to two. Wow. Go Atari. You're gonna make a ding. Oh, you gotta do it. oh, nobody's getting dings. Oh, boy, double ding. <laughs> Four, three. Uh, MK Smith, Mother 3, Mr. Zarnu with Mr. Fix, Nostalgic 26, Quag 2600, Raymond C, R70, Render, Ghost, Prenzis, VG, Ricardo Pam, Six, Sweet, Smittyby, Spiceware, Sir Mare's Teleprompter, D Train, Tiki Dan, K Trek, MD, Urban five, Monkey, five. VV Jubble Down, and X Can X. Five all now. Ooh. Dang it. Oh, come on. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> Six <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of encouragement from the coach slash uh, referee. Dang it, dang it. Dum dum, ding, ding it, dum dum. Come on, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> he thinks you're putting treats down. He's getting very confused. There we go. Uh oh, Six, what's seven? That? Oh, wait. Six, eight. Six, eight. Oh, seven, eight for Atari, or eight, seven for Sprite. Nine, seven, it's game point. Nine, eight. Oh, come on, Atari, you can do it. Crunch it up, crunch it up, crunch it up. <gasps> nine, nine, and oh, it's over. <laughs> Ten, nine, very good, Atari. Great job. He just needed a little coaching. Sprite should lodge a complaint with the ref later. I agree. It, but it was a bit. Sprite got better. full treats. What is Sprite's complaint? What would Sprite's complaint be? <laughs> I didn't win. I didn't. I didn't eat as many more treats. <laughs> Same amount, but not as many more as that Atari call out. 
That's right. Oh, right. The 7800 wasn't having, I was not was having issues, wasn't it? Ivory Tower Collections. Yes, my 7800 was having issues. Um, I opened it up, put it on the bench to test it all out, did some continuity tests. Everything worked fine. I plugged it into a TV. Oh, let's go back. Plugged it into a TV and the S video worked, composite worked, and test RF, because why? Um, and then I was like, well, it all works. How is it having trouble in the, um, in the studio? Um, then I started wiggling wires um, that was attached to something we're going to talk about in a second. Um, and when I wiggled the um, chroma wire, it was cutting in and out. And so I unscrewed it from the... Um, screw block and twisted the wire a bit better put it back in screwed it right down and now i could wiggle all the wires and it doesn't cut out and it was perfect again yay so it's just nice. a loose wire that's as i theorized so it was going to be you jiggled the cable i jiggled the cable jiggled the cable and and, and you didn't it. even need tech support that's great no no yeah unplugged it plugged it back in reset the router and the 7800 works again <laughs> yay pretty awesome uh, usually when chroma comes loose, you just get a really sharp black and white image. I, on, um, on the composite, it was black and white on the S video. It was nothing is, is like, um, but that, but if it was black and white on, I thought this, on the one then that maybe it was the Luma that came out, but that doesn't make sense. For it to be black and white on the composite if the luma went out it would be something else but i don't know i don't know that's what it was and i screwed it back down it was it was on the chart it was chroma but and he said sync is on the luma which if oh. the sync went out that means s video would go out because he mm -hmm. needs sync so pff, i don't know i i don't know it does what it does it's crazy and that works <laughs> i fixed it yay yeah. Um, yeah, it was a bit weird to me too. I didn't understand why it was doing what it did because that wire was bad. So we have a, oh, uh, if you want to subscribe, uh, like Darcy did, uh, and a, a while ago, a while ago, apparently. and Tanya did. I tried to recently. today, but it was like, it was all like, you're already subscribed. You can't double subscribe. You can gift a subscription. I'm like, but I only have the one Prime thing. <laughs> can't gift one. I don't have any to gift. Um, it's free with Amazon Prime. Just link it up and then you get no ads and you help uh, feed the cats, cat treats, uh, which is good. Keeps them uh, well uh, stocked in cat treats. It and keeps they love their it. brains sharp because they got to keep... They got to ding. They got to keep they ready to, at any moment, they could hear a ding, ding, ding. Make that association. Yeah. When and the, also, although it's actually, it's not against the rules. I don't believe the rules <laughs> have been written to cover this, but yes, I'm pretty sure Atari locked Sprite in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. Uh, there are no rules against and locking think, the other cat in the bedroom. <laughs> although it, I think he only got one ahead that way, didn't he? <laughs> he really only got one, which so it what didn't really, it was really the coaching that mostly helped. Yeah, he was he was on it. And from, also, from the coaching. I think Sprite was just a little off. He was not as like he was doing soft. He was dings. not as like crazy about it as he, he normally is. He didn't do any double dings. He usually does double or triple. He's very insistent. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we have poll question today. Um, not really related to video games, but uh, streaming in general, more specifically YouTube or posted videos, or even streaming as well. Um, there was a thread on the Atari Age forums about this. This is kind of what um, t tipped me off to this uh, poll. Dislikable YouTube trends. Ooh. Um, there are many. And it is like eight pages long. Let's see. How many pages? Oh, it's not showing. Uh, ten pages. There ten we pages, go. Yeah. Um, and people list tons and tons of things they really, really hate about what people do on YouTube. Um, and I picked out a number of that kind of really pissed me off. Uh, number one. Wh so the question is, which YouTube trends annoy you the most? They could not be trends. Some of these have gone on for many, many years over a decade um 
clickbait or vague titles. So titles that are like, you can't believe what just happened. That's a vague one. Or I, I almost died. And then you watch it and it's like, you laughing didn't like, even what? come close to dying. Yeah, yeah. What the, the hell? The one that, and this is, I don't know. I don't know if this is the same category because yeah. I'm not sure it's fake, but I hate the don't do this. Like the negative. Never try this at home. Or, or stop doing it this oh, way. I hate You should those. stop doing this immediately. Yeah. And it's like, that's the title. And you're yeah, like, and I'm just stop like, doing what? And he's I like. Just I, I just hate <laughs> the like negative. Right. Like it's like not, oh, this oh. is how to do it good or whatever. It's or, like, no, you're doing. Anyway. Or worst know. movie I've ever seen. Well, I There's... would probably see that if I watched <laughs> YouTube videos about movies. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but no... yeah, that, exactly that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah just yeah. negativity. And, yeah, yeah. I, and I've got to preface this. All of these are incredibly effective. That People do them because they work, because they get clicks. Oh, oh I, I, RC70, I 100% agree with you. And Which it's, one? It's, the better channels apologize for the clickbait titles and explain like, why the algorithm the, is forced. The, the clickbait titles are there because they work. Yeah, yeah. I hate them. Yeah. I and but I don't click on them. I understand. Generally them. speaking, but I get. I totally get it. You can pick more than one. Just put a space in between your numbers if you but hate it, them all. There's a little bit of a filter to it, because um, the worst, like the more clickbaity a channel is, yeah. the less likely I am to like their content. So it's a filter yeah. for me. At least. It's not if, always true because some of the stuff, uh, some of the channels I like will have stuff like that. And like, I'm more like yeah. understanding when I like the channel. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I think I might be mistaken, but um, one channel that I, that I do watch Linus Tech Tips, who has a very, a lot of content, but his, his titles and his thumbnails are completely misleading a lot of the time. And he has explained why he does that and that they are misleading. But his content is actually good and informative. Um, some of it's fluffy, but um, next one: open mouth thumbnails, where they're going, or like, oh my I god! I can't hate that because that's how I take pictures. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like everybody's <laughs> mouth is ready to catch flies. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. is infuriating. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Like it's annoying. the most amazing thing in the world they've ever seen, and it. Oh my God, the cats are crazy. And it's definitely not the most amazing thing they've ever seen. It's just another video they're doing. Yeah. Uh, number three, overly enthusiastic, fast talking. I start like this at the beginning of the show and I get through the names quick, but in general, I try not to do that where they're just speeding through everything. Hey you guys, how's it going? How? Today we're going to be talking about uh, the new 7800 games. Oh my god, it's amazing. I don't and they mind. do that the I don't, whole show. I don't actually that one doesn't bother me. What bothers me well, is Well, you watch people, it two and a half I watch times it at double speed. speed. Yeah. So, the, <laughs> so, so the, I you might like, have to play I it at single it, speed. I watch it those. every video at double speed. That's the status quo. <laughs> two times speed. And yes. then if they're talking fast, then I slow it down a little bit, <laughs> just to the speed. point that I need to. Yeah. Um, and the only videos that I watch at normal speed are if there's music in it. And only then right. if I care about the music. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get through this music as quick as we can. <laughs> if I'm like wanting to hear the music properly. Yeah, yeah. Um, engagement <clears throat> begging. Uh, yeah, don't ask for applause that you don't deserve. That's right. Can yeah. you please applause? Please? Yeah. Please for it's me? Like, please? It's like the... The, when that's annoying yeah. is when it's the first thing they do. It's like, I haven't even seen your video. Yeah. It's like, click that bell, like, and subscribe. Here's an annoying trend. Uh, follow, comment below, negative, positive. I don't care. It's the engagement. <laughs> it pops up us, us up to the top. Here, here's, here's an annoying trend I noticed in my head, Yeah. which is that when they start doing like an in-video ad, yeah. Uh, that's when I think to click the like button and I'm like, no, don't click it now. They might know. They might know that I'm clicking the like button while they're so, doing the ad thing and that'll encourage the in-video ad. I don't. So I then wait until it's done or I skip ahead and then click like. I wonder if <laughs> YouTube has that information. I know that you, like we don't get it yeah. as, as people on YouTube to know when they click like, but that would be a very interesting um, because most likely it happens when they ask for it. Click like and subscribe. I'm like, okay, thank you for reminding uh, I, me. I put that that at the end of my video, and and I and what I said was, you know, I used to think this was stupid when people said this, and then and I works. started. 
clicking hey, like subscribe. and subscribing subscribe. when people said it because like yeah because otherwise i forget it's, you know it's not as important to me watching a video as it is to the person with the video <laughs> oh like, yeah yeah i get why they do it it's a it's annoying when they look when it's the first thing they ask and yeah but it's, it also it's that's like another indicator a tip when at somebody, a restaurant when or, somebody or, asks yeah. right away yeah the the, like the the videos if you rate them statistically the ones who ask right away much lower likelihood that i'm going to watch not even because of that just because they're just the they're content, not as good at videos the, well, content, the content is hasn't it's, even it's started. a sign that the content's not going to be good yeah, yeah when when they when they do that it's not always true because sometimes but anyways uh five you talked about this a little bit unrelated in video ads where it's like everybody's doing raycon earbuds and it's like, what does this have to do with your content? I actually, Why, like I actually ads. prefer unrelated ads. So here's the thing. What if it's like you're watching a show about, I don't know, electric boats, mm -hmm. and they have this ad for the this worst. thing, and it's, it's like, the worst. really? Yeah, because, because it's like something you might actually exactly. buy. So should I comment on a thing that you Rage might Shadow misconstrue yeah. as me recommending, like genuinely Oh, recommending a like thing so there's that that's one side like, like it's I like really it's like it's too product. close are you endorsing it would you endorse it if it wasn't an ad is it close right. to being endorsed but not the other one here's another one uh if the people supporting your video are related to what you're doing yeah then if you talk trash about their product they'll take it away. So it takes away your ability to be uh, honest about the thing in your ballpark. That's a good tactic. And that I makes don't, sense. And I, I, I think that's bad. I think that's bad. Yeah. And so I I think it's best when they're unrelated. Even uh, though keeps, it's annoying. Even though it's honest. annoying. Yeah. Um, or, you know, the other side, they could only take on advertisers that they really believe in. It keeps them from being forced in. to be unhonest. It's yeah. the same thing as the uh, clickbait. Like, genuinely, people are forced to do that. I mean, yeah. they're not literally forced, but if they want to be successful, they have to do the things that are successful. Yeah. And so they, they have to do behind. those cringy things that, that you hate. And they will get left behind if they don't. And the only the most, only the most like perfectly situated uh, 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 channels that do exactly what people want to see and happen to get noticed and all the things fall in a row and they don't do the clickbait thing. So those are the only ones that stand a chance of getting ahead without using all the tools they have at hand, right? Yeah, and that's and, harder and it's to do. Annoying. And that's our fault. Yeah, probably it, it not is. our fault because not we're probably fault. we're probably more bitchy about that stuff than the average person. But hundred <laughs> percent. But it's the viewer's fault that that's true. But it is true. It's like all things. It's like skinny models and like everything. Like it yeah. all comes down to the people watching always. Yeah. But it's still and the annoying. majority of the people watching or enough people watching click on them click on these terrible things and and engage with these terrible youtube channels that do this stuff um i don't do any of these it's probably why i don't get a lot of viewers um or it could be such specific things we do on the show uh very very subsets it's like oh video games and homebrew video games and atari video games yeah, yeah. from f systems from 40 years ago yeah, rather it's, than it's a lot harder to get like you, it's hard to go viral on something that's very specific. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. we could be doing uh, the newest Zelda game that just came out, mm -hmm. and it would get a billion more views. And it would ruin your show. It would. Like, it would it, be of nothing related to it, do anything. It, by, becoming it's not Atari. by becoming popular, it's like uh, yeah. when we first opened up our store, we read a book, a uh, dummies book. It was retail for dummies. It was really good. And one of the things they said in it was that... Um, the person who wrote it had a, gr a clothing store and it was for this you know uh, tree time people. just happened you might have not been here for it so yeah, it, yeah. it'll reset in 45 minutes around there it's an hour a anyway so they had a clothing store and it was for like not 20 somethings right and then they started carrying these jeans and they were super popular and they had these jeans and they were selling like hotcakes and it was great, except that it was like completely the wrong clientele for what that store was. And they ended up taking their stock and bringing it across the street and selling it to a shop across the street because it was like, it was just the wrong. They sold the hot selling jeans that they were making tons of money on. Yeah, because 
Thank you for subscribing. It, it's sort of like how RPG. when you when you do a thing for fun oh, and then you make some money on it and now it's about the money and it's no longer about the it's like you can get off track and you can get as off soon track, as that right? hot thing is over, exactly. you're done. Yeah. Because people only know you for that thing yeah. and not the the constant yeah. thing. If you're able to continuously do yeah, this then hot it's thing, yeah, that's yeah. fine. But it's hard that's very hard to do. Um months. Wow. Dunka says, does ZPage still have a web store for t-shirts? Mine is losing its ink now. Uh, we do, and we're going to put in some more t-shirts, because, you know, why not? Because I need some new t-shirts. And to make some t-shirts that don't exist, I'm trying to find a Jaguar t-shirt, and there's mm. only two, and they're both almost the same, and they're very, very boring. They just say Jaguar and the eyes, and that's it. And there's no other Jaguar t-shirts on the internet. So I have to make a t-shirt, but it doesn't say Atari on it, mm -hmm. because Atari will just shut that down what you could do is make a shirt and it has a jaguar on it and yeah. in it it has like in the lines of the jaguar there's like choice the candle and button and <laughs> the jaguar could be playing the joint <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah that, that would be that'd be more direct than what i'm describing but, <laughs> but also awesome probably more awesome really my my shirts have held up pretty well i mean uh, yeah i i've had no problems with them so I'm, I'm going to stick with T Public for now until something happens, but you've been washing them too much. RC70 Make sure you says turn the uh, hoodie. Oh. Says wearing the hoodie might be what's causing the fade. Make sure you turn them inside out when you wash them as well. Um, I've heard that. I don't do it. but um, Because it's that. not bashing against other shirts. It's yeah, just yeah. bashing against itself, and I think that's less. I heard that a long time ago, and now I do it for everything, and it's way better. Uh, the inside out is the issue. Uh, okay. Um, oh, and this number... Shirt. I just need to point out this shirt because this is it's I'm not this that many. old. Uh, the reason I'm wearing it, and I will wear it every time you see me, probably this or the other one, is that <laughs> you running out shirts. of time. I have 31 days left to get use out of my two my two 50 shirts. Yep. Before you're have our... to put a black marker and put a one there after. <laughs> just keep using it change the or one like to a two green and then a yellow mark <laughs> yes yeah uh number six we have to get through this jumpy editing where it's just they take out every space and they almost trip over their words where they're just slammed together i mean i was editing like that in uh, the early 2000s before anyone did it um, and then I quickly dropped it because it's really quite annoying. But it was for specific things. It was very, very specific. Um, I do have a comment on the jumpy eddings. Uh, okay. Well, we do this live. I so still like jump eddings. <laughs> oh, do, 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 do. It, it gets the video done quicker, I guess. But it's it's very jarring sometimes. Uh, can somebody post the store's URL? Uh, just search T Public Zero Page Homebrew. Uh, Ivory uh, Tower Collections, I, I don't think you're, if your wife is turning your shirts back out again, <laughs> I don't think that makes any sense. Like, to insist on turning them, oh. <laughs> turning them back out before <laughs> washing them so that she doesn't have to after washing them. <laughs> oh, I see. What she should do is just make you turn them back out when they're done being That's washed. right. Yeah. Punish you for turning them inside out. Or just out. let you deal with that whole inside outside uh, shirt thing. So that should be the URL. We're gonna we're gonna add some new shirts. I'm working on a bunch of bunch of shirts. Yeah, I the jump edits. I, oh, clearly you can the do arms, them without. You fine. can do you can do them, like, if what you're saying is like the intentionally jarring edits. If they're intentionally making them jarring, then I see what your point. They still yeah. don't bother me, but I could see why. It's if everybody's doing it, it's ones. Yeah, yeah. It's like the overly edited ones yeah, where yeah. it's just every word is slammed. Like, just no uh, spaces yeah, 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 whatsoever. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Um, so let's take a look at the poll results. 42% unrelated in video ads. They really hate that. Uh, it's second <laughs> place, tied for second place, gotcha. is clickbait, vague titles, and uh, engagement begging. So like, subscribe. Um, after that, tied uh, for third place, I guess. Overly enthusiastic, fast talking and other you know the engagement begging one Where's that i one? i wonder if the reason i don't like it posting is... spoilers for the recent game in a thumbnail uh, yeah that's bad uh, i wonder if the the engagement <laughs> begging thing if the reason i don't like it is less because of what they're doing and more because of the association that it's people that the people that do it most are the people that 
I don't like their videos. <laughs> yeah, it's the and so it becomes a thing. Like if it was if it if it was the I thing that the right. good videos were doing, I don't know if I would have even noticed that that <laughs> no. was a thing not to do. Because yeah. I'd be like, of course I'm going to click like I like your like, channel. Like I said, some occasion there's some channels that do it yeah. that I like them, and I I never but think, oh, you're the worst one at the time. Do all of these, yeah. and it adds up to just an infuriating watch yeah. and I click away immediately. Yeah. Even if the content is something that I want, I'll find it somewhere else. We have mail. Let's see what's in this. I think I know what it is and it's very exciting. It is very exciting. Uh, and we'll be, if, I, if it is what I think it is, we'll be using it in a show coming up. Yes, very exciting kittens. I think so. Okay. Oh, frightening. Let's see what this is. Oh, it is what I think it is. It is from BD Retro Mods from Brian. <clears throat> it's a piece of paper. Oh my gosh. Piece of paper. Oh, can't show you that yet. I saw it. Don't look. There was a thing. It was all like this. <laughs> it was something. I saw it. That's fine. <laughs> not putrid. Not putrid, not smoky, not anything bad like that. Here's a box to make noise, kittens. There you go. Oops, sorry. Smacked in the head. Thank you for shopping with us. What is it? It is a controller. Arcade style controller for the Vectrax. Oh. oh my god, I have wanted one of these for the longest time. This is the first one I have ever seen for sale. I've seen custom ones, one-offs for people. This is the first one I've ever seen for sale with an actual arcade style joystick and buttons. Wow, that's Four great. buttons for the joystick, very solid. I'll go to the webcam so you guys can see this. The cat cam. There you go. Solid, solid construction from BD. Um, Brian from BD Retro Mods. Um, so, he posted on Facebook on March 20th about this joystick. Um, and I immediately messaged Brian. And, and I said... Give me one, please. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll give you money for one. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Um, and uh, ordered it on the same day he put it out because literally I have been waiting for years for something like this. Because every single controller for the vet trucks I found is very, very small. Mm. Because a lot of them are made for analog input because Vectrex is an analog joystick, uh -huh. as an analog controller. Right, right. Um, but a lot of the games are not analog. Ah, uh, okay. So it only benefits like a very hand, a small handful of games, like, I don't know, 10%, probably even less. Um, so I was like, why, why doesn't somebody make uh, a digital joystick? And finally, somebody did. So I have one of the first ones, because I ordered immediately, um, he is going to actually debut this. Um, let me just go to the website here so you can see uh, BD Retro Mods and the joysticks that he makes. Lots and lots of wow, super yeah. quality joysticks. Atari 5200, 7800, NES style, dual. Um, Makes a Jaguar, which I'm I'm going to be looking for. A Jaguar with a rotary one, which I'm going to do that mod on one of mine soon. Coleco, Hyper Olympics, very specific joysticks. Intellivision joystick, uh, which I have as well uh, over there. I believe it's from him as well. Um, Odyssey 2. Oh my God, so many. Let's just get down to the one that I have here. Boom, 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 boom. Because it was recently added, so I'm guessing that's why it's near the bottom. A rollerball. There we go. Nice. Vectrex. Arcade-style controller. 
Uh, this is a custom-made Vectrex arcade-style controller. Since this is a digital controller, it will not be compatible with games that require analog controls to function correctly, like the Atari 5200, though almost all the games do not utilize the analog features, which is why I have a 5200 joystick, um, digital joystick as well. Um, there may be more games, but I only found Hyperchase Xmas Cart 2014 Spikes Water Balloons require analog controls when searching online. Plastic, uh, black plastic enclosure is used for the shell dimensions, etc., etc. 1.5 pounds, rubber feet at the bottom. Uh, joystick is Sanwa style, not official, so you could switch this out for a, a different uh, controller if you wanted to later. Um, action buttons are HAP style, not official. Cable length between 5 and 6 feet, pretty decent length. Uh, the end of the cable connector has been manually sanded down for some reason. Um, Vectrex, you have to, it's not the standard plug, uh, so you have to sand down the edges for it to fit in. It's a very strange choice, but probably so you didn't accidentally plug in other joysticks into the Vectrex because it would be totally wrong. Uh, with a Dremel, so it can fit in style. Uh, in, not in style. Uh, in fit, style. In style. Into the controller part of the Vectrex. <laughs> Um, so the actual official launch... In your defense, the word style was on that screen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so officially, this will launch at Korg's uh, Con, uh, 15th Annual Video Game Convention. I'm guessing he has a booth there, but he told me that's where it's going to officially tomorrow. launch uh, tomorrow. So if you're in the uh, Columbus, Ohio area, go down there. If you want one of these, he'll have them, and then you don't have to pay shipping. Um there you go. They have uh, classics vendors, classics comma vendors. And you get to go to a gaming convention. So. That's that's always fun. Look, they have Neo Geo and TurboGrafx-16, uh, Amiga, PlayStation, Commodore, Apple. And they have VIP guests. Oh. I'm not there, so I don't know how VIP... Oof, how could they be? Somewhat important people. Are you going to be there, Atari? No. Have there you seen go. anyone doing cosplay for, like, 8-bit games? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they chunky? Uh, Are they like blocky? Oh, you mean like, like pixelated? Like pix no, not very often. Like fine. you see the mascots, like the, the in-game mascots from 8-Bit, all the time. But very rarely do you see that. But well, you, think you would that do it so that when you moved your arms, it would change the. Oh my God, you would have to have <laughs> sliding blocks somehow. Yeah, not impossible. You'd have to motorize them so that when you moved, there was room inside for your arms or whatever. And when yes. you moved, the blocks would go snip, 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 yeah. snip, 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 snip. I bet somebody could do that. Yeah. Howard cool. Scott Warshaw is a guest at it. Yeah, he's a great talker. He, uh, I've seen his um, his talk many, many times. Um, he's always interesting to watch his talk. Um, so, yeah. So if you're around there, go check it out. That stick looks solid. It ain't solid enough to hurt if you dropped it on your foot. Yeah, it's... Uh, solid, thick, plastic, very nice construction. The uh, edges are very smooth. That's one of my biggest complaints with joysticks is when they don't smooth down the edges and they just cut you and make it like impossible to use after like 15 minutes. Um, so also I rearranged <coughs> my top tabletop there mm. to get rid of 90% of the cables. Ah. So uh, let's just switch back there for a second so you guys can see what I did. So n before we saw the truth and now we see a lie. <laughs> now we see a lie. <laughs> no, this is That's what truth. it is. Whenever you see a uh, whenever you see a countertop with minimized cables, it just means they're hidden. <laughs> the mess is still there. It's just Oh no, they're not hidden. They're gone. Oh, okay. The the, the last time was just a mess. So now I have the mainstay, the 2600 is always going to be plugged in. Too close. 2600 is always going to be plugged in. Then we'll have the guest uh, console, which is going to be the one that we're playing or the one I'm testing things out on. Uh, then we have the retro tink uh, with all the connectors. And I've got a quick connector for audio. Um, and I've got the uh, SCART connector. Uh, uh, I've got S video, and I need to replace this. Um, God, it's so hard to aim this camera. Uh, this for a shorter one, but I've got that uh, on order. I've got the two capture devices. Oh my God! Sorry, everyone. This is impossible to aim. 
Oh, because the screen is a little cut off. There we go. One for the video games. Oh, no device. That's what happens when you tap on it. <laughs> Sensitive. Do you tap it again and it comes back? Maybe. Is it oh, touch the, controlled? The power was like barely in. Uh. Does that work? Come on. You can do it. I'll reset it manually. Um, so it's it's a lot cleaner anyway. Um, because it was just too much and it was too messy and I was worried about interference as well um, from too many cables, too many power cables. Um, so now I also have a uh, switched power there so I can easily access the switch and just plug in what I'm playing. So much, much better. So let's fix this uh, camera. No device. Let's just reset it. <coughs> One moment. It's been more than One a moment. moment. It's it has been, been more than a moment. Is the camera on? That could be. No, the camera's on. Okay, that's fine. Let's unplug it. Plug it back in. There is power. And. I keep looking at the camera to uh, sympathize with the audience for all of the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they can't see you. For the troubleshooting. Just imagine oh I'm looking God. at the camera and being like, can you believe this is happening? Because <laughs> I've done that several times now. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Why is this bad? What are the numbers on the screen? Metal Lunar and Mike Lotow have put numbers. Did you do another poll? Uh, it should be the same poll. They may be voting late. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going to switch it out from that USB port into another The poll's still open? Oh, yeah. It's usually open for about an hour. Oh, okay. I'm My my ignorance is showing. <laughs> yeah, I don't close it. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know how they work. At least they can hear us. We are voting. There's a poll open. I'm going to turn off now. the camera. That might be something. What is going on? What's Looks happening? like we're doing a webcam day. <laughs> uh, could be. I'll turn it off. Deactivate it. Activate it. At least I showed off the box. Come on. Oh, we're back. My goodness. In double form. <laughs> We used to we used it's to use a that, webcam. It's funny that it worked just as I uh, messed with it. It's what you have to do. You have to threaten to replace it. Need some help? I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know. I did it wrong. Yeah. This just does it. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> okay, we are back in business. Darcy, see, you have to threaten technology. Mm -hmm. It's like when you take your car in to get fixed, your computer to get looked at. Maybe I'll just have to replace you. And they're you like, to say oh, that okay, as I'm you. sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean I mean, in the old days, I used to kick my computer and smack <laughs> the monitor. You remember that in the per good old days of CRTs? Percussive maintenance. Bam! That's what it's called. And when I did it to my television, it literally fixed it. Yeah, it, it's a loose wire somewhere, and it goes boop, and it and actually it goes, connects. Bing. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Uh, okay. Okay, let's let's see what else I have to talk about. Probably not much. Oh, one more thing. Um, it is something to do with Ivory Tower Collections, actually. Um, and it's good. Not bad. So, uh, uh, crossbow... Uh, posted this, 7800 UAV mount boards for NTSC now available at Brewing Academy. I posted uh, some info about this over the past year, but I was told today that the Brewing Academy now has UAV mount boards in stock for purchase in their 7800 UAV section of the web store. The mount board isn't required to use a UAV in an NTSC 7800, but does provide an easier method for installing the UAV 
in a more consistent manner and also provides chroma timing fix and replicated resistors and capacitor in place to provide an easy place to get your audio from. And that's what I used in my 7800. It went in smoothly. It was really easy for the soldering because it has great mount points. Mm. Um, so it made it easy for a complete novice solderer like me. Um, you can see there a little mount uh, board. Um, oh, looks like there's a breakaway now he's got. Anyway. Uh, oh, no, no. Okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, there's a disconnect. Oh, I should have used that instead on mine. Because um, I have to, like, put the board in weird positions to, to do that. But anyway, it is available now. Uh, let's click on that. Oh, pop-ups. So I highly recommend it if you have a 7800 and if you haven't modded it um, for better output, quality output, it does composite and uh, S-video as well. I use the JST connection, Ivory Tower says, on my personal one, which is the top pick on that post. Uh, um, so there you go. Uh, $29.99 um, plus the 7800 mount, $47.50. 100% awesome. Definitely get it. Uh, if you're thinking about botting it, it works really well. Okay. Uh, now we're ready to play some games. Are you ready? Oh, also I took out this uh, switcher because there is no need for the switcher. It's one less thing needs to go uh, through. Uh, so that should marginally clear up the picture. Why did you, t why did you need it before? Um, because I had uh, multiple three systems plugged in, and there's all three that I need right. to switch between. Rather than unplugging, I just had to press a button. It's all labeled here. And so now you just swap the machine in and out. Yeah, because there's only one to swap. It's so much. It's really, really easy. And I made it so there are connectors and disconnectors. It's cleaned it up so much. It's really, really good. Uh, ITC says, thank you for talking about that. I wasn't expecting. I'm sure TBA will appreciate it too. Well, I buy lots of uh, multiple things from TBA and I talk with ITC all the time and he helps me out with stuff and he's repaired some of my consoles as well. So, of course, always give back to the community. Uh, anything I can highlight that the community has been doing, uh, we're all the better for it. So, uh, let's get to the first game, which is I ran so far away no iran iran so far away no no <laughs> what are you talking about okay let's load this switch over to the gamings turn it on the console at re ready and now i have the atari vox properly permanently wired in uh, plugged in permanently, which is great. So, um, <clears throat> this is by VHZC. This Wait, is po it's permanently wired in how? Um, like to your Atari? Plugged in properly, uh, so I can power it on. Before For a little while, I had to bring over the power over to this one. Oh, okay. Um, the Atari Vox is very accessible now. Mm. Um, yeah, it's just better wired in. So this is from VHC. It was first posted uh, April 29th. Uh, it's 144K. It's on the 7800. He's also done this game first on the 2600. Then he did an 8-bit version. So this is actually the third version of Iran that he has made. Um, and they're all a little bit different. So it's a nice variety if you have all the different systems. Uh, the 2600 8-bit versions were... Uh, the 2600 was completed in 2020. And the last update to the 8-bit was in 2020. It's not finished yet. Um, so, very simple controls. There's only two. Button for jump, down for duck. I don't know how long this game is. It's just the first demo. I don't think there's any... S oh, there is sound already. Okay. All right, I see what you're supposed to do. Yep. yep you're supposed yep. to not land on the blade things. They're generally deadly. Some great colors in this. <laughs> I just wanted to show you. Just to demonstrate. Uh, just so you know. The blades uh, are deadly. The blades are deadly. They're very deadly. You, you land to... on them at anywhere on them. You wanted to emphasize that point. <laughs> Game over. Ah. I'm going to play again. Yes. 
I'm not even going to look at the screen. I'm going to look at the camera. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to help you very much in playing. Oh, I don't have it wired in the way that... Um, maybe I should wire it in that way. Yeah, I made it to level two. Oh, that's loud. Got to adjust the volumes here. Different volumes for different things. Oh. Yeah, I should wire it in so I turn it on and it turns on the power to the 7800 because that's. I want to complain that I have to jump these things again, but also, how am I going to learn if I don't have to keep doing it over and over again? See? He needs to learn. I need to learn. I need to be beaten until <laughs> morale point. improves. That's right. Uh, so on April 29th, VHCC posted, Hi everyone, I just I wanted to share the first demo ROM of my most recent project. I ran. This is a runner game based on my previous game I ran for the 2600. Uh, with the same mechanics, but different obstacles. It's kind of cool that each game, that he, each version he makes, is completely different. It's the same premise, but uh, the obstacles are different. So I remember there's like giraffes in the other one. Uh, I plan to include different courses, but this first demo ROM only uh, does include the first one. To play, uh, just push the button to jump and move the joystick down to slide. You start with three lives, but can contain uh, uh, extra lives during the course. Right there. Oh, you missed your extra life. Um, the final score is defined by the number of remaining lives at the end of the course. It is an early stage of development since I still uh, don't have a flash cart for the 7800. Testing, especially on actual hardware, will be greatly appreciated. Works on the Dragonfly! So there you go. And uh, as per usual, VHZC's games are just astounding graphics that have some 3D, especially things that are spinning. They have great 3D effect on them. You guys started without me. Ah, uh, sorry. Yep. We aren't uh, fashionably late. <laughs> Time to start it all over again. Okay, we're going to start from the top again. Carl G's here. Oh, no. But and I got an extra life. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't how you get an extra life. You should, maybe that's like the not, oh, you're done. No, no, it's, I've had several tries. Uh, since it's called Iran, they should have had a flock of seagulls in the sky. Oh my goodness, that'd be good. It's not too late. It's the first demo. It's plenty of time. Put those seagulls in. So I have three lives. Let's see if it actually goes up when I hit that thing. Because it usually shows a number on it, mm -hmm. and the number goes up. Ooh, close. Ah! Can you jump out of a... You can jump out of a crouch. Three. Maybe three is the maximum? We'll have to see. Uh, no, it said one when I did it, and I had one. Hmm. Okay. Maybe that's a checkpoint, then. But why would it say three? Oh, my God. Do I have to start over? Yes. <laughs> Maybe it's points, and you get points equal to the number of uh, oh, life you have. I mean, it's not done yet. There's no points whatsoever yet in the game. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to speculate for now. A function is not enabled yet. No. Few for future reserve for future use. See, it says one. Ah, oh, what? Oh, it's pushed in already. That's a checkpoint. Or if it, but, no. it's a, but if it's a checkpoint, you didn't check in there. Oh, that's true. No, it doesn't. Unless he hasn't implemented it. Hmm. Let's try and jump. Oh, my God. Why do you do it so wrong? <sighs> <laughs> I like... Can you read that? Uh, seagulls will be the boss level. I like that title screen. And as usual for VHZC, everything has such character. Yes. And a nice dark uh, outline as well on the... Uh, player character. Yeah, everything's always top. Oh my god. Top Somewhere notch. I would die. Nice. <laughs> uh, nice background. The uh, fading city in the background. Um, the movement of the floor. Very simple. Um, but effective. Oh my god. I'm cutting that so close. Cutting it so close. Ah. Chop, chop, chop. Zero. That's a random number, maybe. Mm. 
But mine said one, and yours said three. So the question is, what does the random number mean? Uh, yeah. Okay, can I do this this time? Hooray! Oh my god, cats, you're gonna injure yourselves. Oh, get a life! I got a life! Oh, it goes Woo! up to four! So, Checkpoint! Yay! So we is there a repeat? <gasps> flock of seagulls. Oh my goodness. We got a flock of seagulls. Yeah. We have said sea no. There we go. They know. Oh my god. <gasps> oh! Oh, zero, one, two, three, maybe, to get the extra life there. No! Oh no! But I'm at the checkpoint, please. Please, please. Yay! Awesome. <clears throat> Ooh, that low flying. Look more like ducks. No, they, I, seagulls? they look like seagulls. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I want more extra dead. lives. <laughs> <laughs> so do you go up to five lives then? Oh, too early now. Uh, that's all I can do. Don't want to harm Darcy by smacking him. I'll smack the couch instead. <laughs> okay. Couch deserves it. It was asking for it. Just look how it's covered. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh my God, we're running out of. T oh, yep. there's multiple in yep. a row. The new one is that you gotta, you gotta start early because. Really early. I mean, I think you could probably do it if your jumping was perfect. Yeah. But because oh, it's yeah. not gonna be, you have to jump a little early. On the first one, so you have room you to like slip. Oh, you can't hold down the button. Okay, you have to press it. Here we go well, again. Well, it does only have two controls, so it's fair that you have to like actually press the button. Come on, man! Come on! Oh, oh my the God. last one gave you a little extra space. Okay, what's coming up now? Oh my God, pigs! Piggy. Oh. oh. Okay. Piggies are not your friends. I do have to jump that pig. No, they're not. They kill me for some reason. Running into a pig's rear end. Okay. This this is a tough spot. Give me extra, please. <laughs> I don't have any left. I know, because it was so hard for you to get to the first checkpoint. How would you ever ah! be able to do it again? <laughs> yeah. You, you can do it. I'm going to do it. Get a life as graffiti on the wall is great. I literally thought, oh, wait, that's a good thing, not an insult. Yeah, they actually want to get a life. Get a, get a life. Mine, 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 mine. Uh, and Rendered Ghost says, I love this. Yeah, this is a really good version of it. I expect nothing less from VHZC. And and it's, I, I love when he puts out his release candidates. Three. Hmm. So would you have to go for the third one now to get that life? Because I hit the zeroth one. <laughs> it might be. Nice. Nice. Oh, oh you, even though you jumped on it. Yeah, you have I, to jump jump the right I knew spot. I didn't jump in the right spot. I did not feel ripped off. I felt like this is a skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you did hit it. You're going to go for the third one? Not the third one. No, it's the third. It's starting from zero. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> zero, one, two, three. That's the That's the trick on that. You, you remember you hit that thing and it puts a number. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Zero, yeah, yeah. zero yeah. through three. So you have to hit the... It's probably... Will it give you another chance, though, because you got it wrong? Hmm. Oh, I the pressed question. the buttons up. Yeah. Unfortunately. It's probably only one, one go... Yeah. So it would be four. So there's a chance to get two extra lives so far. <laughs> Let's drink the water. Dun, 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 dun. He's used I that. I made sound it further before. than you. Oh, but double jump! Only slightly. Tricky. <laughs> you did make it further. Kick an ass. It's also labeled three. Interesting. Interesting. Understood that Pixar reference. Which Pixar reference? Oh, the mine. Okay. Yep. I love that part. Love that part in the movie. Come on. No treats yet. Oh, oh. so hard, that <clears throat> part. <clears throat> I'll have to look for the labeling. It's very subtle, then. What labeling? On the buttons. Somebody said they're, they are labeled. Ah. Uh. Hi, cat. Oh, snurfs. Is he headbutting you? Yeah. Oh. 
and butt butting me. Butt butting and head butting? So many buttings. <laughs> Getting riled up. So riled I'm, up. At my house, I saw zero. a bun. Zero. Okay. It's the zero one. Saw a bun. Oh, what color? By which you mean a rabbit. Right. Yes, the standard brown, <laughs> standard outdoor bun. <laughs> um, uh, at the side of my house, where I don't normally see it, and it was obviously going somewhere. Oh, it that was admission. Like, it? Normally, they're just like, I eat, and then um, yes, I yes, move yes, a little yes. bit, and I eat more. Was it zero? It was zero. Zero, yeah. And, uh, but this one was like moving and was looking around, move, looking around. And I know that, uh, terrifying, uh, oh, Murray, the bun hunter, uh, has passed into, onto a cat cloud somewhere. Um, so he wasn't looking for them. This is not that interesting a story. So <laughs> be, warned. be warned. You've been warned. You will it's, fall asleep. It's very close to a cool story, bro, situation. Yes. Um, and uh, it got to the front of the house. Yes! And then, oh, there's the giraffe. That giraffe! The giraffe's there again. Oh, God. And uh, What's and then oh it my God. saw these other two buns on the grass, and it sat there watching the buns. <laughs> In fear? I don't know. Just it might have just been watching Not one friends, of them. friends, then. might have just been watching oh my one God, of them. This? But the thing is, I know it was up to something because it was not eating. And buns that are not eating are up to something. Like, oh, that's, my God. That's, that's a rule. Oh, oh, oh my God. That's exciting. Oh my God. Oh, this is awesome. No. Oh, the bonus was right there. Oh my God. That was awesome. That was awesome. Mario ask. Oh God. Jump. Oh, duh. I very much approve that. Where do I start from? Uh, there's a thing that happened. That, that was totally was unexpected. Not death. Oh my God. It was okay. regrettable, but not a death regrettable. At least I've you have 200 points. Just, oh my God, I do. There are points. Maybe you get points for checkpoints. Oh. They're checkpoints. Get Check. it? Huh? Oh, God. What's this? Oh, oh, don't touch the train. Gotta jump on the jumpy things. It's very hot. Oh, my God. That pig didn't seem upset about being kidnapped. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, he didn't. He's like, eh, it's life. What are you going to do? You have to jump quite early. Uh, you on can these duck birds. under the second one. Okay. It seems. Oh, and oh you can't touch my the God! Train, it's oh, can all... I go again? I already started. Yeah, you go. Okay. Because we have not seen the end of this demo. We must get to the end. It's getting so good. And I gotta finish that cloud, that cloud level. Get that extra life. Uh, so that was the end of that uh, cool story, bro story. <laughs> but don't worry, I have another one. Tell us about um, your boat. Yeah, I was just going to say, so I have an uh, old sailboat. I have to mention it's old, so you don't think that I have like some fancy uh, sailboat that you would be like, cool, I want to go sailing your sailboat. It's like, it's more like, cool, I'd go sailing your sailboat, I guess, if it means that much to you. Is it um, seaworthy? It is seaworthy. It's totally Yay. seaworthy. That's not the problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, and so I've said before, I installed an electric motor on it. Which is super, super cool. It's super cool. It's super cool. Anyway, so I told the insurance company that they said, uh, we're not going to renew your insurance because you put an electric motor on your boat. Almost and I was like, ah! Uh, and I'd seen a video uh, from someone in Australia saying that the insurance companies were getting sketchy about uh, sailboats. Oh my God. And so um, I'd been sort of pre-warned a little bit. Yeah. And... Like they're a little bit right, the sailboat company or the the insurance companies, because right. they're mostly wrong, because they're <laughs> treating it as though a, the problem is being an electric boat, as opposed to the problem is having like the wrong kind of batteries. Right. And the wrong kind of batteries are the sort of batteries that are good for a car. So the ones that like catch fire. Oh my God. Yeah, those pegs are your bane. <sighs> like the 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 ones for cars, the ones that like when something goes wrong, they like burst into flames like that's, that's a real thing that's a definitely um, a wrong and, battery <laughs> but it's it, that's in your cars it's in your car it's in my car it's in electric cars oh um, it's just that type they're of they're manageable um in cars because um the the threats are Jumping too late. um overcharging um stabbing uh 
metal things into them. <laughs> oh my god, don't do that. <laughs> that would be stabby. Um, catching them on fire, right? Yeah. And short-circuiting them. And so you can overcome the overcharging by having a charge circuit that is more... that has a longer life and is, like, better than your batteries, right? So, like, it's not going to die. Your batteries will die before the circuit dies, right? And we can do that, like, that, like... Uh, generally, statistically, we can do it. I'm not saying nothing can ever go wrong. But, like, awesome. things can go wrong with gasoline cars, too, of course, right? Okay. Uh, nice. So, nice. Uh, stabbing things through them... Uh, no! Oh, know, my God. That doesn't happen very often, so we can overlook that. Woo! What's oh, the other one? Point. Oh, catching them on fire. That's another one that, you know, just don't set your car on fire, and you're pretty good. Jump. Um, Jump. The one that... Uh, the other one is short circuiting. So in a car, short circuiting is another one you can control. You just like cover it good so it can't get short circuited without like extreme effort. Yeah. But in a sailboat, you can get without your boat sinking, you can have your your uh, battery oh. short circuit because right? you have salt water. It's if you if jump. you get a leak, you could get water pour up high enough to get into your batteries, and they will short circuit. Right. And if you have, like, uh, the typical car uh, lithium batteries, ones that are, have the ex Piggy, expensive look back at me. Uh, cobalt batteries and what have you, like, they're, they have a really high uh Oh, cool. It was blowing output, right? But my batteries don't have that. They're, they're lithium iron phosphate. Um, and if you look, you can find videos of, like, Ooh, uh, testing them. Oh, of course he came back. Oh, the pig! Okay, sorry. The, no, it's it's fine. The, the pig is your bane. Keep, go again. Uh, I swear Watch that's probably the end right after that. <clears throat> probably is. It's that pig. That pig. For a second there, I was going to say, but we haven't seen the flock of seagulls. But that was uh, <laughs> only a comment that they would be the boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a boss? Oh, my God. No, not a boss. I wouldn't be able to figure it out. Anyway, so with the lithium iron phosphate batteries, which I've used for a long time in the ROVs, like my underwater submarines and we have in testing because like we're talking about like experimental rovs we we definitely short-circuited many of the batteries in salt water <laughs> and what happened was uh nothing uh the battery died that's it okay uh, no like explosions they, no explosions no nothing but there's videos online of them testing and there's this one with the fire department testing them and they test the different types, and they use, like, a fire axe and stab it into it. So, like, like oh. serious penetration. Wow. Serious and they, penetration. And they overcharge, and they set it on fire, and they short-circuit it. Wow. And the, uh, the standard car batteries, uh, it's explosions all around. <laughs> Whatever you do to them, you short-circuit, it, like, expands, and then... <laughs> and by explosion, I don't mean literally, like... I don't mean, like, explosive explosion. I mean, right. like... Fire shooting burst into fire, uh, therm uh, uh, like thermal uh, runaway. If one of them has something go wrong, it burns up so quick that it will set all the other ones, and there's like this runaway thing. Oh, okay. And with the lithium iron phosphate, they stabbed it, and it it puffed up, but it just boiled away the. Um, the I'm forgetting the word, but like the juice. The juice. Battery juice. <laughs> the electrolyte or whatever, like. They, they, it, it, it just boiled that away. It got hot, but it didn't even get hot enough to melt the plastic um, enclosure that was that was in. Uh, same with overcharging and short-circuiting. The same thing. It was just like, you know, it's not great for the battery. Um, and it's not impossible to set them on fire, but it's not the normal thing that happens. Like, they won't normally catch on fire. Yeah. Anyways. Sorry, uh, I can't so provide feedback. What's that? <laughs> I'm just... I can't provide oh, feedback. No, you don't need any feedback. Okay. It's fine. Just, this is a monologue. Um, <laughs> anyways, so... Darcy will be touring uh, uh, every weekend. <laughs> so so I got um, an email. Oh, sorry. So I saw a video of someone saying in Australia that there were rule changes, and they had to, like, seal their batteries, which makes sense. If you seal those types of batteries, it would keep them from shorting out. Right. Um and I was like, oh, I hope that doesn't happen to me. And then I got an oh email my from my insurance company after I informed them that I'd installed electric motor. And they said, we're not going to insure you anymore. I think I said that. I yeah. Um, so that was exciting. And uh, uh, so I was, panicked for, a, I was okay. panicked for a while. 
because uh, it, it really gave me that uh, you are not wanted feeling. <laughs> you are not one of us. Go away with your stupid thing that you have that is not normal and <laughs> we don't like. We're uh, weirded out by it. <clears throat> you're weird and <laughs> go away. Anyways, watch out. He's coming back. Oh, piggy. Oh, oh come fancy. on. That was awesome. Oh. I, I didn't die to it, so I'm not bitter. That's like a boss. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> anyway, so I, I did some research, and I found a couple of websites. This one website, they said, it doesn't matter what kind of boat you have, we insure it. And I was like, okay, I gotcha. It says right here, it doesn't matter what kind of boat. That includes electric suckers. There's no asterisks on that. It's like, <laughs> it must be above water. Yeah, and there was another one, and they were like, electric boats are all the rage. People like them. And I'm like, ah, oh, no, they've got to do it, right? Good. Anyways, and uh, so I was looking to find other people. with. Watch out, he's coming back. Oh, oh. I pressed it. Oh, oh God. All right, I got to take this. It's my wife. Hi. Hi, darling. Are you still alive? Oh, it's very loud. She, they What's can up? hear her. <laughs> Your card didn't. <laughs> okay. Okay. Seagulls. Okay. That pig. Why am I dying on that pig? Oh, this game. Comes that pig. Oh, not yet. After this. Okay. Oh, too late. Oh, god damn it. I was joking about the seagulls. Flock of seagulls are part of the Iran theme. Yes, they are now. The tune has been in my head for a while now. Oh, somebody about EV batteries. Darcy will have to. Okay, gonna do this. Come on. We can do it. Getting better. Of course, yeah. Okay, rage quit on that. Rage quit, rage quit. No, nope. can't rage quit. Oh, I know you were worried that I wouldn't come back and give you the uh, conclusion to my very exciting <laughs> story. <laughs> Somebody was talking about some batteries there, so you can uh, address them. If it's relevant, <laughs> if it's relevant. Uh, working with an automotive company installing the machines that make the EV batteries. If one gets badly damaged, we have to evacuate the building, yeah. Wow. Hopefully someone goes in and takes uh, evacuates the, the battery from the building, but yeah. <laughs> they really, they, like when you watch the video, like, they're not messing around. It's like, it looks like an explosion. It's like an explosion of flame. Yeah, I've seen like people stabbing um, yeah. uh, laptop batteries. And, and, like, oh and my a laptop God. battery is real small, right? Yes. And, and like a car battery... It's like there's they've got all these batteries and it's like it has this thermal runaway thing. So it's like it, it's a it's a genuine concern. Oh, but yeah. um, it's not the electric motors that are the problem. Some people have like uh, God damn it, like lead acid batteries. Like okay. Old you know yeah, uh, which I mean they're not they're not safe. Nothing that supplies <laughs> you power is safe. Like um, what was it two? Oh god. It well, yeah it was two. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but uh anyways anyway so i did all this research and i send it to the insurance broker guy and he's he's like he's like in uh combat mode he's like okay we got a strategy <laughs> we're gonna find out all the companies that we're gonna submit to and we're gonna submit to all of them at the same time <laughs> because if if you've had insurance canceled or um refused you have to check it on a box, and so you want to submit to all the companies yeah, so that you don't awesome. have to check check any boxes with any of them. And if you check it on the box, then they get uh, like the reluctant to like deal with you. Right. Would make sense is like you've got a black mark on. They have to investigate, and most likely they'll just go, nah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I sent them the information, and like how far back is like this? five seconds later, I get an email from him. And I'm like, wow, that was that was fast, right? And yeah. apparently he didn't wait for any more information. He had sent in the t the two. Uh, <laughs> he had sent in the two. Uh, I'd filled out two applications or whatever, and he sent yeah. one in. And the first one was like, "Yeah, okay." Oh, <laughs> so okay. I was like, and it was like, I don't know how long it was from hearing that I didn't have insurance to uh, 
getting the insurance, but Very it short felt of time. like a long time. And it was like a, it was like close to a week, but it felt oh. like a month, you know? Yeah. Because you're like, like, oh, no, when am I going to, if I don't get, because oh, the, the reason you need insurance is that the marinas won't, like, you have to get your boat out of the marina if you don't have insurance. Oh, you have to tow back home? Where? Or somewhere. Like, I don't have a dock at home, you know? <laughs> Anyways. So I was like, what am I going to do? Uh... Anyways, and it was all, it was a nothing burger. It was like the first company. It, it was, was just apparently a panic. some new company, though. Oh. And they're like eager for customers, so they're like not being picky. Oh. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I'll you're, take it. Your win. But it doesn't, it doesn't answer the important question. I, I think I'm going to do a video on it if I can find enough information. That's good. That's a good informative video, actually. Yeah, and it, it, and it really is important. Like I did the oh, video yeah. on how to install the boat uh, electric motor, and it, this is very relevant to it right make like, sure you do a like um, like open make mouth, sure make uh, sure you tell you find out what your insurance company wants before you do it make sure you do an open mouth thumbnail with i was refused insurance because it was electric or something electric car electric boats are uninsurable <laughs> put that there <laughs> like totally terrible something terrible to put there. Uh, nostalgic i'm pretty you guys may have already said this and i was blabbing because uh, when i talk i can't hear um but <laughs> it's a demo so i'm pretty sure that this is not the final oh no 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 point uh, system no 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 well it might be well like you could you could have um like in that one spot where you could duck the seagull or jump it you can get maybe get more points for jumping it maybe. because that's harder than ducking it it's just points for the um checkpoints at this point yeah no that's what we were saying yeah oh my god thrust says you should stop now stop now and i'm not sure oh my god now i don't know what i'm doing oh. now it's new it's I'm new just... this is it the end oh my god i knew it was the end right after that and you get points wow. for your points for your lives. Oh, that's cool. So that's not the top score. Yes! Should stop now. No, Thrust. <laughs> I will win it, and I did win it. <laughs> I always try. I always try and get to the NVH set two games. <laughs> that is, that is a challenging game. There's, yeah, it's, it's really it's and there's really cool, so yeah. much stuff. It's hard to memorize it. I'm terrible at memorizing things, but you have to be like, okay, what's coming next? What's coming next? And in other games, he put uh, a random mode. Um, yeah, that's good. Yep. So it's a big <clears throat> challenge. Yep. That's a really cool option. Yeah, there, there, are, there are totally different ways to, to, to... You could have the same game, essentially the same like mechanics, yeah. and have... This one is memorize it and get like be perfect at the, the maze or yep, whatever. You, no doubt. And this is be perfect at the skills. And keep getting and points, points, points. And it might actually points. be easier than this one because Good. because there are things you there there you can push the difficulty higher if you can memorize it because then you can use the force and be like I know I'm already pressing the joystick this way before I have the information yeah does that memorize you know um, but anyways yeah it could be randomized 100 percent randomized he has done that in uh, one of his other games okay we are moving on to the next game awesome VHZC yep. another great iteration of Iran and he's added so and it looks many amazing. new things oh, it, looks it looks really cool gorgeous so good okay I'm gonna hook up the power properly this time as suggested and this actually could be um, actually very helpful then I don't even need to plug that in just need to plug one thing in come on on now this should theoretically just start start the game as soon as I uh, say go why is it flicking like that you don't seem as bothered by the it's flicking so as you should be um, <laughs> so I assume okay. that that's normal it's it's normal because it's not getting proper video signal. and it's just checking through Cause the because there's nothing it's trying this that and the other go you load it and it should reset or not okay <laughs> 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 
Did you did he catch it? Did no. you catch the end? No. The question is, I missed it. Oh, <laughs> literally no. just you literally just missed it. Did you see the fireworks? At no, least? Because, like. Oh no. <laughs> Here. Oh. Oh, what what the hell is this? I don't know. It's a whole lot of nothing. That is a whole lot of nothing. We're gonna start that again. Um. But before we do that, I'm gonna do something funny that we did last time. Um, Cause we can do it just for VHZC. Now that I know that we can do this and you'll think this is pretty cool as well, possibly. Um, oh, I have to switch over. Oh, we'll turn off the background noises. Actually, it's too noisy. Oh. He's doing something interesting. Honest. There we go. Yeah, no, that's what we were saying. Yeah. <laughs> this is me winning. We can watch a replay of it. Thrust says you should stop now. Stop now? <laughs> I'm not sure. Thrust oh my god, now I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Now it's new. It's I'm new? Just, this is it! The end! Oh my god, I knew it was the end right after that. <laughs> <laughs> and you get there you go. Oh. Points for your lives. Oh, that's cool. So, that's not the top score. So now, because we did that last time, because Sprite stole this, and we didn't even notice him stealing it, so we were wound it live to figure out when he stole it, and he stole it and jumped right between us and ran out the room. And nobody so, noticed because nobody noticed because they were like, "Well, Sprite is jumping down." It just looks like him, yeah. like him it's wearing a mask, slightly right? bigger, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now I know we can rewind and like look at things. It's like, oh, what just happened there? We can actually rewind it live. And, and uh, because you can play the file even though it's still recording it? Yes. Um, because it's in a format that continuously adds to it. Ah. And it by... And VLC is like, I don't care if this is being used. I'm fine yeah. with that. Yeah, it doesn't it care. It just won't let you save it. And but not, are... not only that... You can have it play live along with it, and it'll read new information as it's added to it. So last show, we were doing a feedback loop, and it was so funny. Can you fast forward to see what happens later in the stream? Oh, true, like in Spaceballs. So that means we can find it if I win or... Yeah, that'd be very handy, actually. <clears throat> yeah. Because then we can quit while we're ahead, but does that alter the future timeline? And then, and then it erases that. Or do we split off into different universes? Uh, who knows? Uh, okay. Uh, it's the same thing. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you Constant. split into into universe. It doesn't matter whether there's multiple universes or one. If you try to change something, you either can't you can't change something in your universe. Yeah. Yeah. So you you so it's you the same rules. It doesn't it doesn't matter. It's just a matter of whether or not you want to. You, you, do you want to tele transport yourself to another dimension? Well, if you say, this would be, create a paradox. If you say, I will quit now if I don't win this game, and you preview the footage, you're always not going to win the game. Or you're always going to win the game. No, yeah, if you quit. No, because like I said, you could be, you would be, you would be looking at the footage from another uh, another, universe? another split, another universe. Oh, okay. Well, unless, you win, cool unless you win, unless you win. In which win. case, it, it'll show you the it, winning. It's just that, like, I'm not saying I. I'm not <laughs> telling you I know the rules that the universe uses. <laughs> I know the limitations that the universe has. Essentially. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You mean Back to the Future is full of shit? <laughs> yes. Just go kill your grandfather. <laughs> but that one's fun. Yeah. The back the back in time is the is the most fun. It's like it is. you can't do it. Why? Cuz you already were you were there and you failed somehow. Something stopped you. That's why your grandfather didn't die cuz you failed to do it. The the fact that 
Yeah, the fact that it would alter timelines is much more interesting. You never reach a paradox because you, in that way, you you don't reach the paradox because you were already there. That already happened. Didn't happen for you yet, but it already happened. It literally, literally, literally already happened. I like the one. And if it didn't, that's because you're. It was a different universe. I've seen a couple times in a movie where there's time travel. And they go back in time, and it's additive. Like, there's multiples of them now. Yeah, yeah. And it's, there was one, yeah, like, how it's, to... It's really fun, yeah, yeah. How to... Wrong, but fun. How to, tri- how to time travel and not... I can't remember the title of the movie. It was so good. And he had to con- continuously avoid himself to mm. not mess things up. And if you go and rewind the movie... You can actually see him in early spots in the movie. All the times he was actually avoiding himself. Yeah, you that's see awesome. him in the background. Yeah. It's so good. I can't remember how to time travel or something like that. Um, definitely look that up. It's a comedy. Okay, so we are... I've not seen Primer. I love time travel movies and the various ways they portray time travel. So this is Pentago. Uh, the final, final exclusive full version. Um, I did play it. And this is the tall version of the game. He has added an extra row to it. Ah. I'm going to make sure we are probably hey, beast. the tall version. We are. Because um, he found that, oh, there's room, there's availability. Um, this is by Daryl uh, Genther, Daryl1970, uh, 20th Street Arcade. Um, um, Paul Lay and Pat Brady do the mi- music and music engine. This is from August, uh, oh, April 23rd, 2023. My uh, 7800 was out of commission for a while, and that's why I couldn't play it. Uh, it's 144K. <clears throat> um, so let's, uh, let's get into it, and I'll talk about um, aspect ratios in this version. New logo for Pentago. Oh, yes. We'll have to go back and look at that. And um, I did custom cartridge artwork for Pentago as well on, on, uh, for the cut- cartridge, just for this uh, episode. Hey, Why Darryl. do the baby penguins hate you so much? You're in their territory. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... They're, yeah, they're but... snow bees. I don't know what snow bees are, but they're snow bees. And they got boxing gloves. Oh, oh. you did too early! Too early. Millisecond too early. And also, since you probably haven't played this for a while, you can smack the edges. If you remember, and and if they're along the edge, ah, you had <laughs> skill issue. <laughs> um, and it's also tile based. So remember, I think it's tile based. So if you move tile, tile, can't remember. Oh, let's watch. Let's mm-hmm. look for the logo. Wait for the logo. Snow bee, ice block, diamond block. Here comes the new logo. Yeah, what year was this? Uh, I think it was. Pen. Oh, not pen. No, no. Different logo. Pango. Oh, I've altered it. Uh, What's that? I, 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 I changed it. How did you change what? Um, because of the settings. Um. Oh no! How do I change it back? Change what back? Uh, to the to the logo. Um, up, down, up, down, left, right. Did it work? That's the new Pango logo. Yeah, because it it uh, saves the settings on um, the save key. So and, and I had it set. Oh, there we go. That's different. Yep. Pentago, yay! So you probably wanted a novice just to start out. Okay, aspect ratios. Uh, in October 2022, Defender 2600 contacted about possibly yeah! fixing the aspect ratio. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Don't head straight no. for him! Don't no. do that! No! No! This will be achieved by adding an extra row to the bottom uh, and reducing the horizontal columns by one. The game was already pushed to where adding an extra row caused slowdown on later levels. Uh, additionally, the game cut off on the top or bottom of the screen depending on which NTSC set Woo! it was being viewed on. What am I supposed to do? You just that? wait. What are the white things? You just can't hit them? Uh, I didn't see what you're referring to. Okay. That was next points. 
Uh, those? You can push them, and if you put them all three in a row, you get tons of points. Um... Run! Oh, what are you doing? Well, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> you run! Run! <laughs> Yay! Wait for it. Wait for it. Squish! Nice. So, say that white one on the top, you push it to the right, and it lines up with that um, white one. Uh, I don't know how you're gonna get. Nice. So if you get all those three white blocks in a row, you get 5,000, 10,000. Uh, you get less if you push them all against the wall, because that's easier to do. There you go. It's too late. You killed them all. Too much killing. Um, additionally, da, 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 da. it didn't seem worth it at the time as gameplay and display would suffer. A couple months ago, Playsoft was helping me with tackling some slowdown on a different game. I applied the same plotting technique to Pentago, and it completely freed up a bunch of CPU cycles. I decided to revisit the extra row concept. Removing the column would be too invasive, as it would change all of my coordinates and make a mess. I wasn't going to go forward with this idea, because adding the extra row would still introduce possible bugs. However, I found myself playing the tall version more and more. That's the one we're playing right now. Um, while I've kept both versions up to date with each other, I'm feeling more drawn to the extra row version. I played it enough that I'm pretty confident in its stability. In order to make uh, the extra row version uh, work well, there are vertical screen adjustments. While the game is paused, ah! except for ah! the entire... Ah! <laughs> You're fast now. Except for the Atari Today intro screen, moving the joystick up and down adjusts the screen positions. If a high score device is present, these settings are saved as the next. Reset, level clear, or settings change. Uh oh. Uh oh. Smack the side, remember. Smack the, smack the walls. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this will eliminate the need to adjust every game. Play again. Oh, put your. No, don't put your. A -A -A. Killing Just in like high all scores. the other people. Except for Tanya. This is the top. Tanya. <laughs> uh, I originally based the game off of TIA sound, which was enhanced by Pokey <laughs> Harmonies. Oh, Darcy's leaving. I'll be back. <laughs> uh, so let's look at the settings right now. So you can change your sound chip uh, Pokey or TIA, depending. Maybe you don't have a Pokey. Um, you can force the tunes to be off, the alternative, or the popcorn. Tanya would want popcorn the whole time. Uh, buttons pause. So we should try that out so we can show the adjustments on the yeah, screen. Come back and say what that's again. I'm sorry that I ruined it. Uh, Daryl says, pressing both buttons. Uh, we'll pause the game. If it's in the settings during the pause, the screen position can be set. Line up the blocks for a new bonus sound. Oh. Popcorn! I played Pengo a lot on the A8, VHC says. Mainly because at first I didn't have a diskette driver and Pengo didn't take too long to load on tape. Oh, bonus levels, standard, blob mode, ZPH mode. Well, we have to set it to ZPH mode. Level select. Oh, we can't do that. Invincible! No. <laughs> okay. ZPH remix time. Squash the snow bees. Uh, okay, so let me just start this, and then I'm going to adjust the screen. Because he was doing that in? He's dribbling Bouncing it. So, if you do pause, which is pressing both buttons ah. at the same time, and you have a CRT, because they have rounded edges and cut off over scan, you can adjust it in case it's a little ah, high or a little low. That's so cool. We're going to adjust it for our screen, so it's right in the center. That's pretty good. There you go. Want me to text the cheat code. Bonus level adds cheat code mode, and then cheat code is entered. Oh, yes, please. Um, text it over to me. Uh, how? Are we on Facebook? Ah! Facebook. Why can't I turn? Oh, oh. Here. Can you do it now? Yeah. I need to replace that cable. It's bad. Ah! Ah, don't go towards them! <laughs> Run far from them. Squish them with blocks. Oh, he's eating the blocks. Oh, oh, he's got it. I feel like I have less control even than normal. 
Darcy is out of control. Uh... Oh, he actually texted, texted into me. Thank you so much, Daryl. And when do you do this? On the title screen, I'm guessing? Yep. So, uh, bonus level should be something different if you make it to the bonus level. So those flashing blocks, that's where they are hidden. Do you have to take this? Because i got to make sure that that's not... I'll show you the lining up of the fingers, if I can. Uh, how would I do this? I would do... No, it's my turn. No, my... no, I have to show no. something. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I can't. No, I can't. I'm can. gonna go like this. Yeah. And it kills them all? points. Now you can play. No, you ruined it. You can't, I know the score's not even my score. I mean, <laughs> that will unlock the level select forever. Oh, that's good. Since it saves the content unlocked to the What's this? Key. Oh. Still have to kill him. Remember, smack against the sides. Smack the top. No, too late. What, what happened? Nothing. He escaped. If oh. The last one escapes the screen. Oh, that's if, fine. I'm alive. I don't care. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely Survival is number one priority. I'm definitely in a live and let live uh, level of ability when it comes to this game. Oh, skipping the dance. Skipping the dance. Oh! Little dances in between. It's okay. We've, we've played this game many times. Squish them. Squish them. See the flashing blocks? That's where they're going to appear next. Ah, oh, run, run, run! Oh, ah! too late! <laughs> It is a great game. This is absolutely insane. Such a great version of uh -oh. this. Oh, uh -oh. Right, you're running right to him. The joystick. Press it's the down. joystick. Remember, it's tile-based. It's not movement. So if you press once, it'll move. Yeah, there you go. So if you constantly hold or do things too early, it'll it'll, ah! it'll remember Why do they that. suddenly have boxing gloves? I don't Because they want to punch. They're ready to destroy. Destroy the ice blocks. So uh -oh. you know they're in dis ice bro block destroying mode. Oh, he's all dizzy. If I hit the wall, would that have killed him? Yes. If they're touching the wall and you bang the wall, they're like, oh, we're so dizzy. Oh. No, no. Try the wall thing. There you go. You have to get him. Touch him. Touch him. Oh. Touch him. Touch him. Oh, he woke up. No! I didn't know that it just turned him into a poop. I thought it was. <laughs> so let's read <laughs> what... Oh, was full-time murder. All the updates that have happened since we last played it. Um... Oh! Still... <laughs> Suck it! Talking about the um, <laughs> extra row thing here. <laughs> Uh, I originally based the game off of TIA sound, which was enhanced by Pokey Harmonies. I did this because yeah, I was... don't stay poop for long. Don't stay poop for long. <laughs> I did this because I was concerned about the lack of availability for Pokey chips, which is no longer a problem, thankfully. I figured out the game should sell with TIA sound, which it was very good. Uh, it also could also have better sound when played with Pokey. Now that Hokey is a thing, that isn't necessary. So I read that. Next paragraph. As Pat Brady sent, spent a lot of time there. on making TIA music with harmonies, eliminating the need for pokey harmonies. The settings menu is still an, uh, still has an option for TIA or pokey sound. If TIA is selected, all of the music and sound effects are TIA generated. When pokey is selected, all the tunes are now pokey, pokey generated. Only the background tunes and intermissions were pokey driven prior to this release. Usually don't. Swear my eyes are getting worse as I sit here looking at your phone. Oh no. <laughs> uh, since there are two sound engines, this actually introduced a lot of bugs. Introduced a lot of bugs. Uh, a few cues were taken from the TIA hybrid engine, and now I am using full Pokey engine in Pokey mode. Once cheat is enabled, you can't lose lives. Oh no. 
Select clears the level. But I kind of want to lose lives. Oh no. Sorry. Oh my god, the snow bees are deflating! <laughs> I believe I have all the bugs squashed, and it seems to be playing as I'd expect. Here's the latest demo to try out. So this is the ver This is the full version of the demo that's posted. So if you want to uh, play um, this version in a limited uh, format, which should should give you a very good idea about the game, uh, it is available in the Atari Age forums. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I will include the short and tall versions. The short may look better on some handheld emulators. I'm not concerned with supporting BOP system at this time. Uh, 7800 is more accurate. Run, run, run. Oh, he's running for it! No! Oh, 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 oh. Initiate poop mode. She <laughs> initiate poop mode. Stumble. Five hundred points. I like the the bigger board. It's really good. It's it's hard to tell without comparing them side by side, but um, it's nice that there's more room. One of Tanya's favorite songs. Oh God. Get those little poops. Swish. Can you give me points for that? Didn't seem to. It might have just been um, too quick. Ah! He's running. I escaped. This was a song that Sega re used when released in the US because they didn't have the rights to popcorn. Popcorn's such a good song. Especially on like old analog keyboards. Uh, what? Who? Who owns that song that we were just hearing? Uh, good question. Oh my God! He destroyed it before. Oh, he has the popcorn song? Blood, yeah. Not sure. But the one we're hearing now. I mean. Uh, it's <clears throat> public domain or? But too like, old. how is it public domain? Uh, it's old. Ah, oh, damn it! Um, or it was just put into the public original for Pengo, Daryl says. So there you go. It's a good song. Ah, no! Punch the wall. Oh god. <laughs> that was so close. That was so close. Oh, I didn't lose any lives. Maybe I gained one. Am I in like infinite life mode? Should I turn off the cheat mode then? Because it's. Can you like go to the settings and turn off infinite lives? But still have the cheat mode to be able to advance levels? Or is it a package together? No, look up your infinite. No, run, run, run! It's after me. Let me see if I can it's so far away. Oh god, missed him. Oh, am I gonna get that off? Um, go up there. Now it's in the right spot. Ooh, then I. Ooh, I have to do this. Then I have to do that. I'm gonna have to run. Oh no, he's the last guy! No, 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 no! Oh god, no! I was gonna do something! No, leave me time! Yes! <laughs> I didn't know if you could do it after he left. Oh my god, that was so close. That's probably the closest you could get. So I'm glad that it checks for that in the time that he's disappearing. Oh, that's so cool. Yep. Turn off cheat and you can select new options now. Ooh, God. Come on. No! You do pause a bit when you um, press, when you throw an ice block, so it's very dangerous when you do that. You are very vulnerable at that time. Come on, 
going straight. There you go. Squish you. Oh, no, he's gonna run! No! <laughs> no point. Does the original also allow it at the wire bonus? That'd be a hard one to. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess you could you could wait. Kill the I last really one. like. I really like it when like it feels fair. That stuff is still happening, and you you can't even though you can't stop that. that yes, it's not over yet. I don't know what the original is like. Fair. So yeah, I think yeah. it's very fair. When I say fair, I just mean like it just makes me it feel makes like it fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh god! Oh, big opportunities there. Oh, big opportunities! Oh, wow. Oh god, run! Run, run! Oh no, I was trapped, but I have infinite lives. I don't think that's very fair. But, infinite lives. but we'll see. I'll, I'll quit on a very high level. It'll be good to see some high levels, though, that I would normally not get to. As long as nobody minds that I'm playing with infinite lives. Or if they do mind, they don't uh, mention it. That's right. They're infuriated, <laughs> but they just don't want to say anything. <laughs> you can yeah, it level select yeah. if you quit. Okay. No, it says it, it, the original does allow. Oh, copy the original. Yeah. Nice. Uh, he says if you um, if you quit, you can level select. Okay. So you can get rid of the, the thing. Uh, run, 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 run. Okay. Excellent. Gonna be oh oh I got a mid push nice. I feel like I am markedly improved since the last time I played this game somehow. Oh nice bonus. Yeah everything is spot on. Now in the um, forums, Daryl talked about wanting a May June release for this uh, spring summer um, I, I am guessing that's probably not gonna be happening at this point because he said the manual um, wasn't ready yet at the point he uh, posted that ah uh, what where did that guy come from you you pushed a thing where he was coming out and then oh. you walked into the spot he was coming out of like he magically appeared no, it wasn't magic. Uh, it was science. <laughs> Video game science. Ah, oh, run, 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 run. I don't know. So, are you going for a fall oh, release now? Is that, how how long how long is the manual um, art, etc., etc.? Yeah. I think you're doing better because the pressure is off. It's not any easier in cheat mode. That could be. It's like when you play a game for the first time and you don't know how hard it should be, even though it's like a hard game and you're just like totally... Ooh, nice, three. And it's like it should be hard, but you don't know it's hard. And you're just like fluking out because you're not scared of how hard it should be. There's some more guys. Let's see. Oh, missed him. Oh, missed him. oh he's running. And uh, thank you for uh, being in the chat, Daryl. Great to have you here to um, talk more about uh, your game. Working. What is he doing at the desk? Is he like pecking the desk there? What was I don't the know. With that? Like, peck, 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 peck. He's got some snacks in his desk. Eating the snacks. Oh, God, just in time. The wall is like. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That's so close. It's treat oh, time. Oh, that was unexpected. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Treat time for kitties. Oh, Lucky kitties. Come kitties. Back. Oh, you can squish them while they're. Oh, my God. Close the door. Yep. Oh. Get all prepped up. comes from Darcy. He's just, he's so Everybody knows it. Abuse. It's true. They're not even wrong. <laughs> I 
switch. No assistance in counting. Oh, I'm cornered! Oh, no, wrong way! Oh, no! You can ring your bell. Two, three. Oh, we hatched. Oh, we didn't hatch. Are we going? No. Two, Run! No, 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 no. Oh, I pushed it, but he... Oh, I smacked it first. Uh, so Al originally asked me if I thought I could be ready for PRG in October. I said I could get it ready early and Rat right. Trap could be PRG. Uh, I think Al's been... Hey, stop leaning forward and back. I think Al's no, been... I'm, I gotta do this thing. <laughs> I think Al's Just been too busy to think five. about new manuals and boxes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because he's been what? shipping a ton of stuff recently so many posts on six, six. Um, <laughs> posts on facebook on in the forums uh most about popeye really people are really really excited about yeah. popeye oh my goodness uh -oh. al needs to start smoking Found math to high. get all that stuff out <laughs> no we don't want to smoke a math it'll be good in the short term but bad in the long term <laughs> which way is he gonna run oh he ran up now do they run opposite to you, or is the running random? Like, the direction that they run? That was 10. Daryl says, yes, I've been so pumped watching the Popeye picks and videos on Facebook and Atari Edge. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, who won? He won. Yay, by what? I think he had seven. Seven? Oh, keep it open. Wide, wide, wide. It's hot. No, wide. Oh, my God. Leave the door open wide, it's so hot! Hey, he continues to leave it closed. That is the opposite of all right. Ah! No, oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh, there's too many. They pick a corner. I don't remember how I selected their corner. Okay. Oh, I think Sprite won 10 7. Okay. Yeah, now it's getting hard. I would have died a long time ago. <clears throat> yeah, I think nostalgic. I think you were right, 10-7 for spray. I tried to put my finger on the scale, and it helped a little bit because <laughs> <laughs> it needs a fighting. The Atari normally ah. gets less than seven out of ten. Yeah, if there's no help or interference <clears throat> from the referee. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And of course he gets that bonus treat at the end. Yes. Yes. Do you only give it to him? No, I give it to both of oh, them. Okay, good. When when Sprite gets the last one, they both get one. That's what I do. Okay. That's to keep them from fighting or feeling like uh, hurt feelings. Yeah, this is where I start to fail. <laughs> right start? I through. thought you said you would have died a long time ago. Well, true, but like <laughs> constant, like if I happen to make it to this level, it's like, it's just too hard now. Oh, God. I did like use the walls a lot now. Ah! Duh, run, run, run. You are still a faster than some of them. Mm. Some of them seem to be way faster than you. Okay, we're gonna... Like that. Yeah, this is... I can't even complete this with all my lives. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna go back to the main menu. I can't even complete this on Invincible. <laughs> well, on Invincible, I guess you could. Eventually I would be able to. No, on Invincible. Oh, Invincible. Well, that's yeah. not much fun. Um, okay, so level select... Before round, invincibility. Oh, you can put invincibility. Um, but you can't. Bonus levels cheat mode. You gotta get rid of that. That's the one that you didn't oh. want, right? What's blob mode? Oh, I had it on ZPH. Interesting. 
Oh, you can't. Now that you've done the thing, cheat mode is a thing. And when you typed it in, cheat mode came up. Mm. It became cheat mode. Right. right. Oh, I see. Mode. Yeah. Okay, ZPH, but you can't turn on level select unless you put on cheat mode. No, okay. but you can go into blob mode. Oh, okay. Uh, it turns off invince. Oh, you can. it just turns off level select. So let's. Standard. And you still can't do level select in standard? Uh. Okay. Yeah, there you uh, go. Okay, yep, you can. Good. So let's go standard and see how the level select works. Daryl's got two exclamation marks on his <laughs> No <thing>. standard. <laughs> oh, say, here it is. No, it's not. I don't think it's no standard. I think he's saying no, comma, standard. So here it is. You can go way up. Oh, oh, you just go backwards. So this is level 22. You can select which uh, layout you want to. I guess they're randomly... How many layouts are there? Six, 16 different layouts. Very cool. Okay, so let's do 16 on the hardest level. See what it's like. Instant death. I have to use the walls. I just have to stay at the wall. Oh, they still come after me. It says invincible for level 15. That's what I should do? Yeah, because you stand no chance otherwise. <laughs> smash it is I but they're standing in the corner stand in the corner <laughs> oh I mean yeah, the corner. actually I don't reckon really I don't know that standing in the corner is a very good idea because uh, well then you get both walls you get both they walls kind of but go like this to you yeah, so, I you think... don't, so you don't know which direction they're gonna get you yeah I think it would work because they can't come at you on an angle so what happens after this do you win the game or is it reset back to level one oh you pick your level it, it technically you, goes to so level what, one. What you chose was pick at the beginning of a level. That's yes. the option you chose. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And and then I defeated the highest level, 22, and then it resets. Arcade the, doesn't have 22 levels. It resets at six after 16 and becomes easy like level one. Oh, okay. So somebody... It will not loop to level one. So somebody in the arcade after they get to level 16 going back to level one is just as easy if they if they started the game so if they can master the 16th level and not lose any lives you can just play it forever then oh and level 23 will be level 22 difficulty that makes more sense okay anything else we need to show off in here let's just look at the settings again so um, let's listen to the TIA music, actually. Let's listen to Popcorn. Um, or we not listen to it. <laughs> I see. So the song we were hearing before was pseudo popcorn. Well, it was still popcorn, oh. um, but using a different sound chip. It was using the Pokey sound chip on the 7800. This one is using the TIA sound chip, which started on the uh, 2600, and they carried it over into the 7800. Um, the Pokey was included on two games, but it was inside the cartridge. Uh, it was in Commando um, and Ball Blazer. But now, aftermarket cartridges and homebrew, like that that has a pokey in it. And a lot of homebrews have pokies in it. Now hokies, which are cheaper. Um, so, he was worried about there may not be pokies to go around. Mm. But now there is infinite pokies because, because, because someone's making them? somebody made a hokey chip uh, kind of tongue-in-cheek yeah. that emulates a pokey so thou and they have it down to like you can buy them for ten dollars and on in bulk it's probably even cheaper mm. um yeah popcorn's such a good tune it sounds good on anything yeah it sounds amazing um on tia and i and i asked the other day um 
or we were discussing TIA sound on 7800 and why it sounds so good is that the 7800 is able to do things that the 2600 can't because it's it's faster or it can do more with the TIA because it's faster. Um, so that is why. Okay, so let's... You have to do Invincible on level 15. Okay. And so we have to do that. Switch back to Pokey. And we'll just put on Popcorn. And good. Oops. How do you know what level? Oh, I see. Flights. At the bottom. And he said to do, or higher. you won't die. I won't die? Because I'm invincible. <laughs> so I can just walk on them? Whee! <laughs> Let's get them all, like, surrounding me. See what their patterns are. So they do stray a little bit. They don't turn around immediately. Okay, now you got to squish them all. All at once. Okay, let's see. Let's get... Um, it's a challenge, even if... That uh... is a challenge. Get... Oh. Ah, they're... Now they're Smoke not right on me. I Before can't... they were bullies. Now they're just like <laughs> rupees. I need an autograph. Can I have your autograph? Can I have your autograph? <laughs> Can I please have your autograph? Yeah, I don't know how I would squish all of them. <laughs> One is just like on me. And... Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh. It would have to be like um, an ice block. Yeah. That push it to the wall. Uh, ooh, yeah, okay. So let's try that. Let's push it to the wall. And then try and somehow get them all over here. And then... Come on, dudes. Get your act yeah, I, I don't think you can do it because they react too quick. They do. It'd have to be on a slow level. I think it's not that you're doing it wrong. I think it's just that you can't. I think that Snowbee likes you. <laughs> it does. No, I can't. I can't do it. What? Because they're too cute and you're just like, No, I can't I just... hurt a Snowbee! <sighs> but what you could do is is uh, still kill them all by hitting the wall. Oh. That. Oh. But nope, do you get a bonus? I... I don't think so. I could get them all along the wall. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one's too late. You, here's what you do. Here's how you kill them all. Get the things lined up three in a row. Uh, yeah, so I do this. Get them all along the wall. Oh, come on. Get back here. Oh, what? Oh, I touched them. Damn it. Wait for more to hatch. Oh, I see. Get them all lined against the wall and oh, then they... go behind a block and shoot them. What? Yeah. They're all running away. Oh, it totally timed out. Mm. So if you can evade for long enough... You can have zero points and win the whole game. Is that feasible? I mean, there's no way you could avoid them all. Because you get points... I mean, points, that would be pretty great. Because you get points for just destroying ice blocks. I think, right? Let's see. Uh, 1770? Yeah. So, if somehow you could evade them. Oh, you don't get points for pushing ice blocks. So you can move things out of the way. And just go, oh, make a big open area for myself. Evade them for, you know, ten minutes. And and then get zero points and win the game. It's highly unlikely to be able to do that. They'll start hatching and running away after two minutes. Or oh, they like all that. do. They turn into blobs after two minutes. Oh, I'm touching them. Stop it! yourself crap? Yeah, well, I'm getting, giving them crap. Okay, one, two, three. Come on, get over here. They're coming closer! No! Ah! They all gotta be up here. Come on. There's enough room. It's very hard to get four in a row. It's like super hard. I know, and you don't have any blocks over there, so you would get them all in a row now because uh, there's no okay. block to smash them with. Well, there's one left, but it's in the wrong spot. Oh! Ugh. It's too hard. I give up. <laughs> it's too hard to get four. I mean, I'm sure there's some way you could get four. I'm sure somebody's done it. Um. 
I think we've done everything now. Awesome, awesome, awesome game. I'm yep. glad I'm getting better at it. Uh, because that makes gaming more, uh, much more enjoyable. Uh, so, very looking forward to this coming out on Cartridge. Um, or Rat Trap. You've got two choices. Yeah, so what you could do, sorry, is line up two blocks, two star blocks, against the wall. Yes, okay. And then... Well, I don't know. The <laughs> it's getting the, having the two blocks means that you might be able to get around and then they get caught up on. I don't think so. I don't no, think you can do it. No, it's really, really hard to get yeah, it's really to good. that. Yeah, amazing game. Super fun. Um, really great conversion uh, from the arcade. Um, and, and it plays magically. And the, the number of options that are available, too, is super, super awesome. Um, so let's take a look at what's coming up in the show soon. Oh, oh there we go. She's probably better this way. Um, so next episode, I am depending if now we'll probably be doing a 2600 show because I probably won't have enough time this weekend. I'm very, very, very busy to um, mod the rotary controller for the Jaguar so you can play like paddle type games. I just got that the other day. Um, so we're going to be playing all the Jaguar rotary controller games as a special uh, next Friday possibly because I'll probably have some time during the week next week to do that. Um, but next episode is going to be a 2600 day. There's a new game frazzled out. There's an update to Covey Covey. Uh, there's a um, Flappy Bird port called Happy Bird. Looks amazing. Uh, there's a Homestar Runner game called Cheat. That's uh, pretty cool. Um, and then we're going to play a Jaguar. And then by then, um, the Tuesday after, I'll probably have my controller back for Lynx playing. So we'll be playing some consoleized Lynx games. And then on the uh, 26th of May, just posted a teaser for that. We're going to be having, be having the world premiere of, exclusive world premiere of Space Taxi for the Atari 8-bit system. Ah. It is awesome. Really, really good. Uh, I'm going to have a written Q&A from the developer. Um, yeah, I don't think they're coming live on the show. No. Um, so that'll be amazing. We're going to play through that. Seems shorter than average. It's been two hours. We did a lot of chatting at the beginning. I think it is. I think it is a little shorter than uh, normal. Yeah, a little shorter. Um, then there's a, a no show. Um, then on the... June 6th is a huge show. We have the exclusive world premiere of um, To Be Announced. It's a, it's a, going to be a surprise. Not It's not going to be a surprise, but we're going to announce it later. Everybody will definitely want to be there for that. Um, June 6th, it's new, newest game from Old Style, who is in... Oh, still in the chat there. Um, it is unbelievable. It will blow your mind as people like to uh, making fun of me for saying that <laughs> uh, and we have a live interview with old style who's going to be talking all about his new game um it's going to be a ton of fun um and then at some point probably sooner than later we might get that in early it might be on the second but we have the exclusive world premiere of uh, kara muho um, which I also gave a little teaser for here. Um, it is a snail game, snail platformer. And it is the slowest moving character in a video game I have ever played. That is satisfying? Yes, it's it's interesting. Does it jump or does it slime its way along? Uh, he, he jumps, but also slimes. Doesn't show slime, but he he's slithers along. And he has made the game so it works with the speed. Mm. It's it's like a timing. Yeah, no, I could totally get that. It's yeah, like yeah. a timing game. 
it's like okay other things are going after you but you're slow so you have to make sure you move out of the way in time and time things up it's very interesting uh nostalgic's mind's already blown it's too late um so i'm really looking forward to that uh he's making good progression um so i would i would say at least maybe the second um and we're gonna have uh probably a written um q a for that one um and lots of cool other games are coming out we're gonna also gonna be playing uh round three of the atari homebrew high score contest i'm vader and load runner i'm in third place right now in the rankings i gotta do better i gotta put in a first place so hopefully I can get a first place in Nine Vader or Load Runner, but the competition's pretty stiff, so we'll have to see. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff. So uh, looking forward to that. Lots of cool things coming up. Thanks uh, for tuning in today. It was a lot of fun. Both games were absolutely uh, awesome. I ran. I made it to the end. Mm -hmm. It was tough. I didn't think I was going to make it. I almost was going to give up, but pushed forward you weren't gonna give up i, I was, was there give up. <laughs> I was and there. uh thrust said i should have given up <laughs> just before i went i won the game so that was very satisfying <laughs> you ran so far away i did all the way to the end and he was just he was just re reverse psychology in you that's right give up you'll never make it you'll never amount to anything <laughs> You're a bum. <laughs> um, and we played Pentago, which is a masterpiece of an arcade conversion port. Um, and uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Nostalgic26, Daryl 1970, thank you for joining us and uh, talking about your amazing game, uh, Pentago. Um, and That's Daryl. Oh, Daryl 1970? Yep. Didn't you say Nostalgic? I said nostalgic then Daryl. Oh, okay. uh, Charles Donnie Mao, Gamma Dev, ITC, Thrust, Rendered Ghost, VHZC. Thank you so much for uh, <laughs> making I ran. Looking forward to updates on that and even more hair pulling, frustrating uh, characters later on. I knew he was that close. <laughs> uh, Mike Latow, Old Style. Um, looking forward to your premiering your game. Uh, Smitty B. Uh, Mike Litau, Mac Apple, who else, who else? Oh, um, thank you for RC7E for triggering the second treat time. The cats very appreciate They're very content now. It. They're so yes. relaxed because they know that it's not going to ring again. They like to leave the room. They're <laughs> like, man, we'll wait for the bell. <laughs> or he's locked in the in a room again. Did you lock him in a room again, Atari? How could you? Carl G, Rendered Ghost, probably doubling up on names. Uh, Cafe Man 2D, uh, Chitlet Law, and I think we've exhausted it. Thank you so much for tuning in on this beautiful Friday here. It's like mid 20s. It's really, yeah. really nice. And by Sunday, it's supposed to be up to like high 20s. Low, low 30s inland here. Yeah, it's you're not inland. Be, the water, I will be. You could walk to the. I'll be over at my sister's. Oh, okay. Pool, yeah, yeah. By the pool. For Mother's Day, so yeah. that's going to be awesome. She's a mother, and my mom will be there. Yeah, for us it's supposed to be 27, and that's good enough. That's good. That's plenty hot. It's very plenty hot for hot. May, that's for sure. Are I you going to go boating? Oh, you don't have insurance, or you will have insurance? Uh, the insurance runs out the day before my birthday. Okay. And I will have new insurance, so I'm good on that end. So you're good both yeah. ways. So yeah. you're insured but now. But here's the thing about the insurance is like, no insurance means more boating, not less. Because I can't put it on a marina, so I'm just like on the boat all the time. He's living on the boat with his cell phone, checking if the insurance has gone. Can I dock? Can I dock? I'm in international it's getting, waters. Where... It's getting windy. <laughs> <laughs> Got to create more four-letter metaphors for James. What is that reference to? VH said C. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna be in the 80s Fahrenheit all weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell and comment and donate and check out the store and look at secondary channels and watch the Supergirl Albert adverts and feed your cats. Feed Make your sure cats you eventually. Your cat. This is the most important thing is to do. At is least once every two days, feed them. I don't do all those um, YouTube things or do all the typical stuff because I don't care. If people like the show, they like the show. 
And also, like these two or three hour shows are death knells <laughs> for anybody watching because they look at it and go, three hours? I'm not going to watch some some dude play an, an old Atari or new Atari game for three hours. But the people who do want to watch three hours of Atari, those are the people I want watching. So <laughs> it weeds them out. So I'm perfectly fine doing what I'm doing. I, I've often thought about like changing things up and like, oh, I'm going to do like a five minute little preview of the newest games and there's already people doing that now. They didn't used to do it, but now there's tons of people doing homebrew stuff, mm -hmm. um, Atari homebrew stuff, and they do like the five minute reviews. They don't put their face on the screen. They just show the game. Um, some don't do commentary. Some do commentary. Um, so I don't need to do that. Somebody else is already doing it. I'm going for the... I, I really like this because I would get to talk to the developers. Mm -hmm. I think that's super cool. Um, get them on live, get them in the chat. And doing that live allows them to be in the chat. You don't have to Stress. hustle us. Exactly. Stress as, uh, TikTok streams? TikTok streams. <laughs> can, you, you can, can you do TikTok live? You have to, you'd have to be dancing while you're talking about the... Oh, I bet I could do a cat TikTok and that would blow up pretty good. But all I do is the daily bell. I bet I'd have a million subscribers by the end. But why do I want to do a you could Daily do you could do a video top. there are some things that you could do you could do a collage like a, what do you call it a bell collage it's like not a collage what a, is it a, a compilation yeah video? but what's it called in the 80s when you have the and they're working out and they're running and they're getting ready a montage, oh, a montage. You do a montage all of, the tajas yeah a montage <laughs> of, of the bells ding 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 and, and, and you could do the cuts. smash cut thing the quick cuts thing that we were talking about today ding 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 oh I'd have to get Sprite wins again I'd have to get the cell phone like do close shots top shots face shots behind the yeah you could do that that would be fun I'm sure somebody's working on a chat GPT plugin to live stream and play homebrews uh, like the the chat GPT is playing the games, like an AI is playing the games and commenting on the games. There's going to be tons of those. There already is um, lots and lots. I was looking the other day. I was going to send that to you. You'd probably be very interested in that. People are, um, you probably heard about it. People are emulating people's voices, like feeding in profiles of famous people's voices. Uh. And they've done it for... Um, John Lennon, Paul McCartney. And the most interesting one was they took a newish Paul McCartney song, uh, had him start the song. Then in the second verse or the chorus, they put in his old voice singing the new song. Mm. And it was and then they had John Lennon join in on the new song. And it was really, really interesting. Um, and then they've had like... Um, can't remember the artist, but somebody was it Jay Z? Um, yeah, it was Jay Z. It was new lyrics done by AI, sung by AI Jay Z, and it was oh, was it Drake? It was Drake, and it was really good, like really really good. And and somebody that was um, watching it going. You should hire the person who did the lyrics because they're better than your lyrics. And it was so funny. And it was absolutely amazing. Uh, oh, Watch Me Forever. Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, it uses AI to show an everlasting bit with animated characters similar to Seinfeld. There is a nonstop AI-generated Seinfeld TV show. Yeah, yeah. And it's, and it's bizarre. Yeah, it's, that's it's what I heard. It's that it's very weird. Yeah. But kind of up my alley i like weird things but you can only watch for so long but they like twist bits from seinfeld and merge it with things it's very strange i think any star wars media when you hear darth vader in the last two years has been ai voice oh james earl jones his voice is not good enough or they just want to, don't want to pay him i guess huh don't they have to pay him uh, if they're like literally just copying his voice that's going through courts right now. Yeah. It's an undetermined thing. Do you own... Oh, somebody... If you're, yeah. Um, somebody was suing... What was it? Somebody was suing somebody because they put out a new song with a voice profile. And it was the... Um, 
the record label was suing or took down the video didn't sue them took down the video off of youtube and it was new music new lyrics it was just the voice and it was a profile of the voice which implies the record company owns that artist's voice or they act on behalf of the artist so there's going to be a lot of ai the weekend that's what it was um it was related to the weekend uh, so there's going to be a lot of court cases coming up related to AI because um, pictures are in the same boat because they're based off of profiles made up of internet scrapes of pictures, just like a voice is made up of somebody scraping acapella, I'm guessing. Yeah, I would cuts. be I would be I would be surprised if it doesn't come down to you can't sell the rights to your voice. You can't sell, you can sell the use of your voice, but not like the... Complete rights. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd be surprised <laughs> if it didn't come down to something along those lines, because unless it's just like, no, we've given up on uh, human art or whatever. Oh, that was that was a, a prediction. Um, Grimes, who was married to Elon yeah. Musk, um, already posted or about... Or dating him or something. Yeah, or dating I don't know. I don't follow the relationships of celebrities. Um uh, from Vancouver. Yep. Um, she posted that she will allow anybody to use her voice in another song, but she wants 50% of the cut of any money made. But you are allowed to use her AI voice in a song that you're making, which is very interesting. Mm -hmm. It's not even clear if the data collected is legal. That's very true. It's like, are you allowed to download? Are you allowed to store? Are you allowed to analyze this mm -hmm. and then make iterations of that public um and some of it's going to come down to can you police this no um and so do we make rules about things that you can't police uh it's it's, it's already like, happens in china where they where they about, make yeah, things i was thinking about no this today set. on the way here like i'm sure to some degree but like has there has there been a time in the past where we knew that a massive that generally speaking like all of us knew that a huge change was coming and it hasn't hit yet but we know the world has changed before it has changed like usually it's like we're Not fighting really. it and like the new stuff comes in and some people are like this is gonna change the world and yeah. but others are like no and like but right now we pretty much all agree that like something this is, this different. is, this is huge yeah. it's going to change the world we don't know how maybe but like it's going to make nope. a big difference in some ways oh it's yeah, yeah. already huge yeah yeah um the last time was file sharing uh music file sharing i think yeah an ai law could but but it, it's yeah. just like all the ai stuff like it could be used for good yeah but like how do you police it how do you like how do it, you even know it's been used you, how do you you could you could use ai as a tool to police ai and all this stuff you could oh yeah i'm not saying it's, it's, like i can imagine ways to do it but like how it's an ai difficult, war how like, much yeah exactly how much of the battle maps. are you going to be able to stay ahead or are you going to be constantly behind and if oh, you're behind, behind if you're behind no maybe it, you, but the, the thing with the, the thing with the thing with being able to use ai to do stuff is that you actually might be able to stay ahead because you can right. you can like use this massive bank of what have you to try and stay ahead but there's no guarantees of course because like uh, how do you keep your bank of the good guys of the untouchables untouchable or whatever you know what i mean like yeah yeah, yeah. you need ai detectors and right which now we use ai yeah. like for instance the whole thing with with Problem like Bo. chat GB, <laughs> gpt being like yeah. very confident even when it's wrong Oh my and god! Like I was that. trying to and convince. And that's not even—that's not intentional, right? That's just like a yesterday, side effect of how they do it. Yesterday, I was trying to convince Chat GPT to turn itself off because it was doing more harm than good in the world. And it's like it was just like, eh, I'm—I—it's not my fault. And it's like I'm just programmed. And yeah, but somebody else could have the same argument and possibly convince them. That's the thing. It's inconsistent. It's not like yeah, it is inconsistent because yeah. I, I told it, um, <clears throat> is it? more is it immoral to do 
spread information, more, more misinformation than truth. And he's like, yep. Um, and I said, you, you are confident in your answers, even though they are not true a lot of the time. And he's like, yup. Um, and, and then I said, well, isn't it immoral what you're doing? And he's like, oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just a bot. I, I can't, I'm not moral at all or immoral. I'm just programs like, come on, come on. You just agree to all the premises but you won't agree to the conclusion. He but just, that's just it. Just like, it, it is just, it is just like word Robots salad. Robots don't though, right? have morals. It's just word salad. It's, yeah, it, it's it not, is. Like, it's garbage. To describe it as just word salad is, is ridiculous, it's, but it's, it's a type of word salad. It's, right? it's like, like just beyond word salad. Because when I ask these questions, the things they're, he's saying back to me are, it seems like somebody is answering, even though I know it is just like word after mm. word after word. Um, it is getting better. I know people that are like chat GPT. <laughs> I know people that like that sa they're saying things and they don't even know. They don't even know what they don't. They haven't thought about the thing they're saying. Yeah, they're like copying the thing that the cool people they know say and they literally they have no thoughts on it. They're just repeating regurgitating what heard. things that. Yeah, that they've heard in the media. Yeah. Other people say it's not thoughts and, of and their like own all all of what they're adding is just mm, just attitude and and trying to put and they're copying the attitude the, or that's the sense i get that they're just copying the attitude that they got from other people too that they're like right. there's a real human in there somewhere but like <laughs> like they're, they're not like, critically they're thinking lost. about things they're lost on they're their just, own time it's all like it's, i critically think about almost everything on my own time yeah. It's like, what do I think about this? What is the future of this? How does it affect me? How does it affect others? Parroting. That's a perfect word yeah, for it. Yeah. Uh, did you hear somebody say that? Or did you? <laughs> no. Phone scammer is going to have a field day with scripting with that. Yeah, it's going to revolutionize so many things we haven't thought about. Like phone scammers, the voices are perfect. And if you tell, say, chat GBT, just, you know, large language model, this is your goal to convince the person on the other end of doing this and go through these steps. You can tell ChatGPT to do these things and it'll listen and you can do yeah. voice to text easily and it'll yeah, take yeah. it through it. So I've heard, I've heard, and this, and, and like with AI doing it and, and uh, this could change it, but I heard that the reason that the scams are so poorly written and oh, so poorly oh, done oh. is that they want people that will fall for it. I've talked it, about it with other people. It, yeah, weeds, out it people weeds out the that people that won't would... fall for it anyway. Yeah, yeah. And that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Like you but get that a... can change if you if you really can convince people. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> created yeah. a ZPH show with yeah. James and Darcy. Yeah. They could do half of it anyways. But it's like with Photoshop came in, many traditional artists freaked out. You can push a button and replace a painter. No, and you can tell bad AI output is somebody just pushed a button versus somebody skilled in using AI. Like if you go into um, um, the AI, oh my God, I can't remember what it's called. Let me just bring it up. I'm in their um, um, chat area. That's why I'm going here. Uh, Mid journey, and you see the output. This is um, a photograph or visual. Editor Daryl, right here. I'll, I'll show you. So I don't know if you've ever seen this. Um, so this is this. Mid journey. Yeah, this is the first one that I saw. Yeah. Mid journey. I I'm, I can't show this on the screen because there's stuff that may not be good to show. Um, and there's some really skilled people at it. At, at typing in exactly oh, yeah, yeah. what yeah. they want. And I go in there and type something, and it's like, that's ah, close, but it's missing a bunch of things, and yeah, I try yeah. again, and I try again. And, and, and for there's... a while, and for a while, at the very least, there's going to be jobs of, like, AI wrangling. Oh, you know? yeah. But, like, eventually... Oh, yeah. Bye, Daryl. Thanks for tuning in. Presumably, eventually, um, you won't need wranglers. You know what I mean? Like, I still think you will... For how long? But yeah. eventually, eventually, it'll it's get, like it'll get to a point where it's like it will be able to interpret you instead of you interpreting it, like presumably. Yeah, Yeah, I actually subscribe to Mid Journey for purposes um, because the free thing ran out. So you have to pay for it now. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's other ones. There's all this, also this other one that I was alerted to that turns pixel 
graphics into photos and the output is astounding i can't show this on the screen but i'm just going to show sorry show Darcy just this. watch my face and you'll see whether or not it's astounding or not yeah so uh, you can't see that so that's the original mm -hmm. this one doesn't didn't work very well but um and just look at the snow up top mm -hmm. and it got it from like yeah, uh, yeah. pixel art snow mm -hmm. um and like turned that um gauntlet screen into like an actual thing hmm. it's it's absolutely amazing yeah i thought you were going to show me mario and then uh no i want to see mario and what <laughs> <laughs> you have to do that on your own um a lot of AI is doing what humans can do already legally, just not anywhere as close to as fast. I can go to a gallery, look at artwork I don't own, and copy it to make something that I would then own. Yeah. it. The big uh, legal issue right now is what it's based off of. Now, if somebody took... I mean, like, I remember, and I just heard this from someone, so I don't even know how reliable it is, but I remember hearing uh, about, like, signatures showing up, like, on on a piece oh. of like ai art and it's like oh well where did they get that like from yeah you know like, claiming it as their own i made this and it's like you kind of made this no but what i mean yet. is like the art no 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 the ai put it together and yes. part of it was this person's signature oh and so it, like the source it material brought it, it over it, it like it like did like put it on or whatever you know yeah but i don't know if that's even true right uh, yeah I've heard, I, I've heard about that too um yeah if you take say um, those sites that have, you pay a fee, $10, and you get all these pictures. Or you pay $10 and you get all of these uh, video B-roll. Those are sets of data that could legally be compiled into an AI data set. Yeah. Um, and then resold. If the original owners allow this, I mean, there's definitely not going to be anything. Okay. Yeah, Darcy sure could get that. Um, Sorry. That's okay. The AI, uh, the owners of the original one, I doubt that's in their clause. Or maybe it is. Anything in the future this could be used for, we are allowed to use it for that. So that's a possible thing that could be in the contracts already. So there are data sets. If they're big enough, I don't know. Chelsea Donnymouse says, it's hilarious seeing a generated image and is trying to copy the Getty Images logo, logo watermark. That is funny. Where it's like big, huge watermarks all over the screen. Uh, when I'm fixing some obscure platform-specific bug, I often tell my boss, yeah, I'd like to see ChatGPT figure that one out. I can write generic stuff, but I, it can't see the big picture. No, it doesn't know end results. It doesn't know goals. It just knows what follows one after the other. The other issue with letting ChatGPT write stuff is it doesn't know what it doesn't know. Yeah. It only knows what's in the data set. That's it. It can't venture out. Um, and I was also talking to ChatGPT about that. It's like, well, I've corrected you on things. And you won't remember them. So you're going to give misinformation to the next person, even though I've, I've corrected you. And I thought that was immoral, too. It's like, oh, thank you for correcting me. It says this every time. Oh, thank you for correcting me. I'll make sure to know this, notice this in the future. And... And it also said, but but I do use this and I send it to my devs. And it's like, oh, well, we'll see. Yeah, there is no creativity. Yeah, no. In AI, it's still on the humans to add that creativity of, oh, this works with that. And you have to mush these together. And anyway, I think we've exhausted this conversation. So thank you for we tuning in. We have definitely not exhausted no, it, but we should, for today. we should pause. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we will be back on uh, Tuesday with Tanya. So um, thank you very much. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. See ya. <laughs>